It's all good. Nah. I bet you can guess who you're saying that. To. It's all good, bro. I was gonna I guess say, I'll, you get, guess you get one guess who that was yeah, actually directed at. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Beanie, thanks for the three months, buddy. Um, before we <laughs> get into today's fucking show, I want to do a little sync check to make sure that everything is in sync because I've been having some like audio sync issues lately and it's doing my fucking nut in. So can y'all? So everyone put an end sync song on yes. and we'll sing it. Get in sync. sync. Yes. No. Uh, can like one of you just like clap a couple times? <laughs> Ah! Hold on, hold on. The audio. Okay. You fucking. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. All right. All right. Was that synced, chat? Yeah. Am I in sync, chat? <laughs> bye, bye, bye. Yeah, it was in sync for me. Just do that. The whole, the whole routine. It's it's I checked stream and it was synced for me. Yeah, looking what? good. All right, beautiful. Every, beautiful. Every time I hear an impression of it's gonna be me, it sounds like Jonathan Davis from Corn, and it's like it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. So cool. It's Thanks gonna for be me. Me. as well. I literally blame New World. Like whenever I, even if I don't have New World running, but if I've played New World at all, I need to restart my PC or else my fucking shit's out of sync. I don't know, don't that was, that was like good. if I'm that editing the New World, like, my audio gonna be fucked from my laptop. Um. Uh, the, That's just editing the, the clips. The that should be opening. Have, the audience, but yeah, it's gonna be a little weird. So I'll. Start. I mean, if I have footage to send you that is useful, then I'll send it to you. If it's all out of sync, cool. then we're not, not gonna bother. Oh, really. I can <laughs> easily sync things up in Premiere Pro anyway. It's like super easy. <clears throat> Dude, is that a wild Chrisier? Hold on. It is. Chrisier is Chrisier alive? alive in chat. That's <laughs> crazy, dude. Holy fuck. Alive. Um, hey everybody, it's Sunday. Everybody's favorite day of the week. It's Dungeon Select Day. Hope you guys are all doing very, very well. It's that time again. We're gonna play some D&D. We're gonna be fucking rolling dice, being smelly nerds. <clears throat> and I'm looking forward to I it. I smell great. So I just okay, say, speak, for it, yourself. speak for yourself, man. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Dutch is the only one here. I even have a shower, <laughs> gross true. boy. I mean, I, I even have kinda, a candle I do on. Kinda, I, do, I do kind of reek, bro. Like, low-key. I slept, <laughs> and, you know, and took like a fatty nap and... Shatter, giving us up to Chrisier. Dude, hype train? Uh, Any hype train, hype dude? Train. Pog? Hype train, All dude. aboard the Poggers Express, chat? I do kind of reek, bro. I do kind of reek. <laughs> <laughs> All aboard the Poggers Express. Uh, the, uh, ladies and gentlemen, our dungeon master. <laughs> Honestly, don't trust a DM that smells good, right? Because yeah, he's true. not been, he's not been putting true. the work in, right? Putting putting the hashtag time in, you know? Oh, yeah. Matt Mercer, man. <clears throat> hashtag no days off. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Dude, I bet, I bet. It's like, my life is hard. <laughs> Musa, Musa has a stench, but he's just like, it's like a good smell. It, just by magic. Yeah, his you natural, know? I think his natural musk is good. Yeah, it's it, just it like. Just smells like <laughs> it just smells like plastic and then like fake nature smells from like him making the minis and the maps. Oh, and, and like, like a little bit of like glue. glue and stuff. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. No, he's like one of those those fey beings that like he he rolled on a chart at birth and he gets a random floral smell, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, before that. we get going with today's session, um, I have an announcement. Uh, or yeah. I guess us level select founders in here have an announcement. Uh, back in March, we launched our first uh, charity select campaign. Uh, we raised money for special effects over the course of the entire month of March raising over 4,000 pounds for that charity. Big and we <clears throat> said that we wanted to do charity selects twice a year. So next month, throughout the entire month of November, we're doing it again, baby. Woo! Charity autumn, select autumn. Autumn slash fall. Now it's, it's autumn. The branding is autumn. Yeah. Autumn charity select uh, benefiting word, special anyway. effect once again. Uh, so expect a lot of people here doing charity streams throughout that month, uh, including us on the Dungeon Select channel. We're going to be doing some uh charity stuff uh one shot and all that good shit um and we're gonna just raise some more money for for charity guys it's gonna be a good fucking time we have a bunch of new incentives coming yes. we're gonna have once the once everyone that wants to participate has signed up everyone's gonna submit their incentives to us and we'll spread them out for you and it should be a good time Hell yeah. gonna be lots of lots of lots of fun things coming down the pipe and there's gonna amazing. be some Charity Select integration on Dungeon Select as well, I yes, think. You might, for, we might do a special uh, I, I have event, an like the Doom. That. We're going to be running at least one, maybe more, uh, one-shots throughout that month. And for those one-shots, I am going to give uh, chat a lot of control. If they donate <gasps> money to charity, oh, no. they get to influence things that happen in the game, whether that we is deciding 
what a certain player character is going to do for their combat turn or or whatever it is you see fit. Uh, if you throw in some money for charity, you get to decide uh, what people do during those one that one shot slash those one shots, depending on how many we do. And you know why this is <coughs> happening, chat? Because we all peer okay. pressured Dutch last time into not allowing time. people's donations yeah. to match the game. <laughs> so that's gonna be this gonna be time. We're gonna be like afterwards. It's gonna be like that's so stupid. Why do that happen? Why do we oh. do that? <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. Now it's our fault. Uh, other than that, uh, I don't have any announcements. But does anyone else here have any announcements they want to make? Um, any? <clears throat> I think it might be. Nope. Denny's in the chat. There's at least one more Canadian in the chat. I can True. say it. But happy Canadian Thanksgiving to any other Canadians <laughs> in the chat because mm. we celebrate uh, before right. the Americans because it's different. So, yeah. It's just I a worse totally thought you were gonna pull the Canada as better. It's just a America. worse Thanksgiving. Yeah. Okay, so call it's yeehaw, worse brother. Thanksgiving. Cake Dude, our thing ten times better, guaranteed. It's literally identical, except yours is based on assimilation and atrocities done to indigenous, and ours is based on the fall harvest and the end of the crop season. Man, so it's like dumb. far for the course for America, honestly. That's yeah, true. Exactly. Um, <laughs> that's true. Anyways. Hey, that's all. Let's not make this controversial. Cool. Awesome. Um, <laughs> well, you see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shut well, the actually. Well, actually. It, boys. <laughs> anyway. Um... <clears throat> Any other announcements? <laughs> Save us, please. Okay. Oh, actually, oh. yes, one legitimate one. Um, James uh, D W Dobson in the chat, one of my mods. Most people be very familiar with him in levels like he is a teacher, and his class is raising money for the um, for cancer research um, oh, for yeah. like the Terry Fox Foundation. And I retweeted on my <laughs> Twitter the link to his class's fundraising page. If they reach a certain amount. His, they get to film a video of his class pelting him with water balloons, and I would like to see this happen. Dude, fuck yes. I would so, like to see this happen. So, yeah, if you want to support cancer research and you are financially able to do so, check out yeah, the James, link if you on have mine link. or his Twitter. <clears throat> if you have a link, uh, James, fucking chuck it in chat, my dude. Yeah, dude. Or if you just want to see James get hit by water balloons. You know? yeah. I'm alive. I'm alive. By children. Oh, by literal children. <laughs> throwing water balloons at him. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, Happy Thanksgiving, all you Canadians out there. <laughs> I'm thankful for all of you. Oh, the wholesome oh. announcement. I'm thankful to be American. <laughs> oh, fuck I'm cool. Dude, Dude, I'll be right Duke, back. I've been thinking, right? Yeah. Oh, no. What is it going to take for you to DM a one shot on Dungeon Select? Oh, my God, the chaos. Oh, it's honestly, Duke, it's a lot money. of fun. It's a lot of fun. Like, money. It's at first, oh, but like, it just happens. Thoughts? Yeah. Charities, I meant money for me. I don't want to help those. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yikes, dude. Good one. Okay. I, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, we can do a charity select instead of that. Yeah. And Duke's like, uh, 10,000. <laughs> 10,000. <laughs> One million yeah, pounds, yeah, pounds, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I. Okay, this is. Mike Myers, right? <laughs> oh, oh no. I fucking I watched the movie last night called Terminal. Uh it has Margot Robbie, it has uh oh, Simon Pegg. It, uh, it's pretty 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 dark thriller. Wait, wait, is that wait, is that the, that's not the one with the guy stuck in the airport, right? No, 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 no. Okay. It's very different. It's, it's about a train yeah. terminal. Uh very British oh. uh, movie. Well, uh, Simon Pegg's in it. It's gotta be a lot of, lot of, yeah. lot of wankers and, and that. But it was it was a good movie. But it has mm. fucking it has Mike Myers in it. And whatever role he plays, all I see is Austin Powers, dude. I can't help it. Oh right, right, right. You're talking about Mike Myers, yes. Shrek, yes. right? Yes. 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 <laughs> I was thinking about like, Mike Myers. Whatever role he plays, all I see is Austin Powers, dude. And I can't like unsee it. You know what I mean? It's fucking. It's fucking. Do I make you horny, though. baby? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Anyway. Uh, good movie, like movie tip of the week. If you haven't seen it, it's on Amazon Prime Terminal. It's a good watch. Uh, well, I watched a movie with Michael Myers in it, and it wasn't great. I watched the first beep, Halloween. Beep, 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 beep. It was okay. All right. So, last we left off, the party um, traveled to Southwold on their way back to Eldilon after them uh, dismantling the brewing war effort between uh, several tribes of Yuan-T versus uh the settlers and um you're still kind of just making your way back down kind of getting to know each other a little better getting to know sirin your uh your newfound friend a little better 
Um, and you made your way to Southwold, where Jolly, the uh, tavern keep there, um, told Hess and Daigon that it was time to return that favor they owe her. Um, <clears throat> gave you guys the details. It is regarding a crown that got stolen from the mayor's house that uh, Jolly would like to have in her possession. Uh, it got stolen by a gold dragonborn who has been imprisoned uh, named Trix. You went to that prison, questioned her, and because of a pretty high um, role, got a lot of information out of her of where uh, the crown is currently being stashed, including the information on the person that lives there and what times he's not at home and how to get into a secret little, little basement and all that stuff because she wore like 20 plus and that was kind of a... That was We're in Southwall, <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. Um, and with that information now in hand, you know where to go to get the crown. You are now what? leaving the, uh, the the keep slash barracks of Southwold. Um, what, what time is it? Uh, it's like early afternoon. Okay, because he'll be gone from 5 to 6 p.m., so we have time to kill. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we've got, we've got five hours to kill? Like uh, four Not five hours, but it's, it's like, it's like say, say that it's like 2 p.m., and you know oh, that three. homie isn't home between 5 and 6 p.m., so yeah. you have some time to kill if you want to go around town and do some stuff. Mm, I want to go <laughs> as, we, as we sort of come out, and we're all like, no, oh, okay, well... Uh, I suppose we've got everything we need and suppose can get for now. Um, I'm going to run some errands, I suppose. I'll just sort of dilly-dally around for a bit. So, um, what, should we meet back at the tavern, say, three hours? Sounds good to yeah, me. Sure. Um, I will sign to Kess. Should we just meet at the house or like a block away? Because if we meet at in three hours, like we only have the one hour window, we should maximize that one hour window in case it takes us a while to find the object. What if uh, someone gets lost trying to find the house? Excuse mm. <coughs> me. Okay. Fair point. Two and a half. We'll meet at the tavern. I've got. I haven't got anything too pressing. Um. Would it be good if I was more um, stealthy for this? Yes. 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 I just yes. nod. <laughs> <laughs> I will be in my room. Or our <laughs> room. I think it's yeah, it was one room, right? That we were all yeah. saying as because it is our room. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> uh, well, um, and I'll just like, and Onu fucking <laughs> waddles along, and I'll just sort of make my way into town, and I want to keep an eye out for. A library or bookshop. Okay. Um, you kind of make your way around town, and and Southwold is isn't very big. There's there's mm -hmm. only really like shops wise. There is um, the base uh, necessities. Um, but you do find a shop named potions brews and maybe some shoes and you can see through the window <laughs> just like this like shelf with a couple of books and other things there that you may find what you're looking for but that's like the closest to a place that sells books that you'll you'll you'll, you'll find okay I'll, I'll i'll go on in i guess push the door open and like the bell <laughs> says the door opens you know mm -hmm. um yeah i'll, I'll just kind of Meander my way over to that sh Well, I'll leave Ono outside the door, I guess. Okay. Make my way over to the shelf. Uh, as you enter the shop, this shop is... Uh, kind of one of those... Uh, not really a particular... Type of item they sell. They just kind of procure stuff and... Yeah, potions, brews, maybe some shoes. A of, of, of potions and ingredients. And you can see... Uh, <clears throat> a relatively, even for halfling standards, pretty short halfling girl, uh, wearing uh, red? red and orange, hey. <laughs> wearing red and orange clothing, frizzy brown hair, uh, just throwing some stuff in a cauldron. But you can also see that on the other side of the shop, there's some bookshelves. There's there's like the name of the shop says, there's just a shelf with shoes, and there's also some clothing racks. There's, there's a bunch of different 
uh, things. Like a thrift <clears throat> shop kind of thing. Just Yeah, sort of. Oh, I wish I had detect magic. Um, <clears throat> yeah, okay. I'll, I'll I'll go over to the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm sure there's not a great selection of anything, but I'm mostly looking for books about the Feywild. Oh, grab my dice. Forgot to bring those out. Hold on. Oh, oh, so did. No, I did. Okay. That's such a full tray of dice. Jesus, how do you have room to roll actual dice in it? It's just full. I already. always take all the dice out. And, oh. And I have them just kind of spread around my desk. <laughs> he There's doesn't. no method just, to my madness. He, he just looks at the dice of Oregon where they are rolled and goes, well, guess that's a number I'm using today. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah, I fudge all my rolls anyway, right, Chan? True. Yeah, I just pick what I want to happen. Exactly. No, um, so a, just a book, just a general, like, book about the Feywild, or are you looking for something a little more specific, or...? Uh... I'm looking for books about the Feywild that have, like, a little foreword with information on the author. Okay. But other than that, nothing too specific. All right. <clears throat> uh, you kind of peruse, um, you know, like just reading like the the, the covers to, to read the titles. Um, mm -hmm. and you find one book <clears throat> titled. Um, right, titled. I went to the Feywilds. And these, oh, like, oh, I, this and, and, and these are things I wish I knew. The okay, lessons. okay. Look, Faye Wild for dummies sort of thing. Sort of, yeah. Is there anything about the author in the book? Um, <clears throat> this book uh, has a short foreword explaining that uh, the author, when she was younger, traveled to the Feywild. Um, I put the book back. Okay. Fair enough. That's it? That's just the one? Yeah. Okay, I'll I'll leave. Okay, fair enough. Uh okay. yeah, I mean <coughs> Excuse me. A few hours to kill. I guess I'll just kinda wander wander around town for anything anything of interest. I mean what it's you know, Southwold, when in Rome, what do the Southwold people do? You know? <laughs> what do the Southwold people do? Um mm. Okay, I mean, you're just kind of meandering around. You can see uh, the the little, like, square where, where most of the shops are, including the tavern that you're staying at. Uh, there's there's some hustle and bustle of the general populace kind of, kind of hanging out, uh, doing some window shopping and that sort of thing. Um, other than that, this just seems to you like a very small but tight-knit community. Mm. One of those, like, everybody knows everybody. Kind of, kind of vibes. Um, also, you see throughout the few hours that you that you kill here, carts of of fresh produce being brought into town from the surrounding farms and whatnot. Um, but that's really it. It's pretty. It's pretty like like mundane. Not much going on. Small towns. Hmm. I don't know. What's everyone else up to? Yeah, good question. What is everyone else up to? Um, um unless <clears throat> like Cass had something specific she wanted to do, I would just go back to the tavern and start writing more in my journal. But if she said she wanted to go somewhere or do something specific, I'd probably follow her. What's mm. Alasrin doing? <laughs> What's Alasrin doing? <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of window. I'm just. I'm kind of in the walk around town. To be fair, I'm just window shopping almost. Like I'm just kind of like, you know. Doing what you do when you're like just in a random town or anything. Well, I'm just gonna fucking pot around then and just walk. Not not even like looking at any sites or anything. I'm just like, oh, that looks nice. Ooh, that's fun. Oh, okay, <laughs> that's. Uh, I feel you know, just trying to waste time any way that I can, and that's just walking around town. Okay, I'm gonna sign at Daigen. Just a quick. I'll be back later. Um, give me a minute, and I'm gonna. Skip up towards the last room and walk around with him. Okay. 
Okay, okay. then I'll, I'll just be back at the, the tavern writing in my journal while Jax is tinkering on whatever he's tinkering um, with. Sirin will probably have stayed behind at the tavern as well and join you if Daigon is okay with that. He's gonna yeah, sit yeah. by you. <clears throat> Take the occasional peek at what you're doing. Well, then she would start to get some answers to the questions because I wrote down <laughs> the list of basically the various journal entries that I'm writing in there, at least to start. Uh, mm -hmm. it'd be And they're written in the form of like, question and answer so like the question and then a paragraph that would be my answer if i were like to be able to verbally reply so the first question would be where are you from the second entry would be how did you lose your voice slash why don't you speak the third question is why don't you have any hair the fourth one is how did i meet kess and then the fifth one does the fifth one's the only one that doesn't have a question like format mm -hmm. it's just a general <clears throat> memoir slash entry to my monk mentor so uh, she's probably she then of, seeing uh, me uh, writing looks over, about looks the over right and sees that you're writing and she just kind of looks at you and doesn't really doesn't really say anything she's just kind of oh yeah, and, and I don't like try and hide it like if mm -hmm. I can tell that she's looking over my shoulder I don't really I'm not bothered uh, okay, so you're skipping up to Elazrin? Yeah. Okay. All right, ship of you today? Well, we haven't had a chance to discuss the whole bottle thing. Oh. Did, there is always something to be discussed, but okay then. Dagon well, doesn't know. Oh. I thought it was and quite I a would warning. prefer it to stay that way. Well, secret's safe with me, so obviously, if needs must, things need to be said for our own protection, then they will be, but nothing will be said out of, you know, non-necessity. Me resting in the vessel does not pose a threat to you. Never said it did. Just to ease your concern. Oh, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, yes. Time comes. I'll act surprised. If you ever need to tell everybody. What's your surprised face? Oh my god. I'll She's workshop it. That one performance uh, check, and it's like, oh no! Uh, <laughs> like, some I'll do it, oh. I'll do it, I'll do it on the day. I'm sure I can think <laughs> of something. <laughs> Make sure it's good. <laughs> oh, it won't be. <laughs> I'm not much of an actor. <laughs> Though I did perform in my school's play, mainly, <laughs> I know mean, nothing major, but... <laughs> Wait, what, what, is, what is a school play? You know, the, the school gets the kids together and they, like, do a performance, you know? Like, for the, just like it's an after-school thing, you know? Like, extra... The curricular activity. Did you not go to school? No. That explains so much. <laughs> I was taught, um, well, everyone in my whole community were taught privately. <clears throat> okay. You're completely uneducated. Good to know. Not that I doubted that you weren't, but there are gaps <laughs> in that knowledge of yours. I know a great deal of things. Just not anything about. Just not anything that might be useful world. to the real life society. <laughs> but that's fine. That's why you learn. Mm. And learning is amazing. Exactly. New experiences are a wonderful thing to have. New experiences every day. You learn something new every day, they say. Great deal of things. Like a school play. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I think it's a bit too late to get you in one, but I'm sure we can find a local theatre group at some point and you can start rehearsing right away. <laughs> I, I want to kind of like disguise self and turn into a, like a child version of Cass. Okay. Just like <laughs> shrink a little bit. <laughs> okay. Perfect, you'll fit right in. <laughs> kind of like just like oh, we continues to walk along just kind of like looking in shop windows. Are you looking for I'm anything in particular, that. or just... Uh... Uh, I mean, I'm just having a little nosy. I mean, if anything catches my eye, I'll like, look at it longer and see if there's like, a price I got for the most part. I'm just like... 
that's a thing. Ooh, another thing. Ooh, nice clothing. Gotcha. Ooh, okay. But, you know, it's not like... Yeah, no, okay, it's fine. What does this shop have? It's... Oh! <laughs> shop! <laughs> shop! Yeah. You can you can purchase stuff here. Whoa! Wow! Okay, yeah, so we've got uh, Paul Plus is... Charity Shop and they've just got random tat and they're like, oh, that's cool. Money <laughs> is uh, is Kat sticking around with Elasma or is she going back yeah, to Yeah, she's you? like skipping it along. <laughs> still a Elas child. I think... Elas Elas just kind of look, looks at her still being like, just skipping along. It's like... So now when Elasma goes like, little girl, where are your parents? And tries <laughs> to run away in like a bit. <laughs> Stop following me, you child! <laughs> hey, he's already been robbed by one once. Instinct just like... The moment the children come near just like, checks out his pockets. Yeah. yeah. Um, hey, man, give me a pocket. Okay. Uh, Jax slash Brooks, what are y'all, what, what are you up to? I am up in the tavern room. Mm -hmm. I have uh, barricaded the door and there's like clanging. As a tinker. I'm assuming okay. that I slipped in right before he barricaded it, so I could do uh, not if if We're not, I could just be right. writing downstairs. Yeah. My plan was to do it in the room and like I wouldn't bother Jax, but I'd just be like curled up in the corner on the bed writing, giving him most of the space. But if I couldn't get there in time, if the door's blocked, I'll just write downstairs. That's up to you. I'll let you I choose guess. either way. I don't he wouldn't say he wouldn't like kick you out. Yeah. Oh, and especially because you know it's I'm not going to be talking to you to distract you, so... Uh, well, if Diagon is up there, that means Siren is also up there, so Siren will. Uh... Would there be enough space? Because then if there was two of us, Jacks, so I'd be like... Well, yeah, we're in the room. Like, there was yeah, so beds Siren's in there like or whatever. Big, like, communal room. Oh, okay, okay. Then, yeah. So, yeah, we're me and Siren are basically just on one bed, uh, like, sat next to each other and giving Jacks the rest of the space to do whatever it is he's doing. Because then if yeah. I finish writing whatever entry I'm working on, I would mm -hmm. just watch because I find what he does very interesting. Yeah, Siren will kind of just like seeing, you know, Diagon's writing, kind of hop off the bed and just just look at you, Jax. What are you making this time? Um, well, I have another design for my armor and, um, well, I think I could do it before we need to go, so. Do you need any help? Perhaps? Um, I think I should be all right. Thank you, though. He nods and just watches what you're doing, really. <clears throat> this is all very, now. very interesting. Brooks? Um, if Jax hasn't asked me for any help, which I'm assuming he hasn't, because he seems to have it fairly in hand, then I will be downstairs in a booth, feet up on the table. Flirt. Uh, surprisingly, no, I'm going to be <laughs> writing or sketching in my sketchbook. Okay. I have sort of <clears throat> found a bench somewhere in the sort of middle of the town, and I'm sat with Onu and also jotting in a journal. Dropping dice on the floor. At some, at some that point, was a pen. Oh, oh, what was the name of the book I found, by the way? Uh, I went to the Feywild Fey Wild and uh, these are things I, all I got was you. Yeah. <laughs> all I Catch got was this book. Uh, <laughs> all I, you know, I went to the Feywild and all I got was this book written about me. Like, shit. <laughs> and this is what I wish I knew. And all I got was a lousy yeah. curse. Yeah. curse. That's <laughs> like, well, I guess I probably like walk past like Gavin as he's writing. Just give him like the like. Oh, mate. <laughs> That's just like a childlike version yeah. of Cass. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> she's a little bit. I, ju I just realized I could totally actually write these journal entries that Dagon's writing and put them on the world anvil. Good. I'm literally this that's what I'm doing I right now. Do. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. No. Um, well, I'm Phil check. Okay. <laughs> uh, if there's nothing specific anyone wants to have go done, we'll it. say that you all go about your activities, and uh, two and a half hours pass, and you all kind of gather at the tavern. Um, what do you do as you're all kind of gathered up? Uh, Jax, you managed to finish your... Uh, I don't know how long you need to yeah, finish. Yeah, six an hour. Six an hour? Okay, there you go. Yeah. Because <clears throat> I just have to do it there. Hey, and, I, uh, and then I'll spend another hour because we have like two and a half, right? Yeah, uh, yes. I'll spend the next hour short resting and using a hit die real quick. Just yeah. top up. Oh, right, right, right. Because you got fucking... Yeah, you got the full boss. Yeah, he yeah, got... Yeah, yeah. He got... You got, got fire breathed it on. Yeah. Ooh. Didn't, didn't a couple Yo. of you... Yeah, I, like everyone except smart. me. 
Yeah. I wouldn't I t- mind doing the same thing with one of those hours yeah, meditating yeah, in bed to get my key points back. To get some stuff back, go for it. You have to talk. Yeah, I, I specifically need to spend at least twenty minutes of the hour, I think, meditating to get my arms of astral self back. Yeah, I mean, you have two and a half hour skills, so you have plenty of time yeah. to do all of that. Absolutely. Cool. Okay. Do I use a hit die for one health? Yeah. Yes. Yes, you do. Fuck it. Why not? <laughs> I mean, yeah, like not? I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna run out of hit die anytime. Yeah, soon. we like, very rarely get through them, right? So. Hey man, that okay. one HP could save I'm your life. You never max. Know. If I get to one HP in the next combat, back to max. <laughs> I'm gonna like, I don't fucking know, man. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so it is now, I guess, four thirty. Um. Four thirty. What is it you guys do? You're all gathered. Uh, you gathered in the room or gathered downstairs? Um, I, I I think I would have come in and seen Brooks and just sat with Brooks. So yeah, okay. I would kiss and I eventually get back. Assume that kissing. I'd have shut the book. Probably. She is still a child. Shut the book. I'll make. I'd have shut the book when when Davian <laughs> shut down and just you know made small talk. Just a child. Put Onu on the table and he just curls up. Fucking centerpiece. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you taught Onu how to how to order drinks yet? Um, just tell him to put it on the bill. Oh my word! What? I walk in as Stand. it happens. I'm just like and punch oh. Brooks. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> off! Oh. One yeah. thing I hate. Fucking. I can't fun. believe you've done this. <clears throat> I I don't even I I don't even have a response to that one, Brooks. Well done. You've officially rendered me speechless. <laughs> nice to know that everyone has a weakness. <laughs> so where are we going then? Let's just go at least look at this place and wait for them to come out before we start going in. Yeah, I don't know how. Maybe. Perhaps. Are we, are we all going like this? How to well, I mean... is Onu in following commands? Uh, as as trained as, as any beast could be, I think. With, you know, some of us maybe not being particularly quiet. Is it an idea to have Onu fly up and give us a signal when this individual leaves, perhaps? He's a very big, quite loud bird, but I'm sh- I'm sure that would work. I mean, Hawthorne could do it. That would be better. If you're worried, Siren, I could always. He can go invisible you. too. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot about Hawthorne. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Hawthorne in your side. Hawthorne um, can talk to me telepathically as well. Mm-hmm. Wait. There you go. I'm Problem out. solved. We need you to check when someone leaves and then tell me. Who? Well, we're going to a house. We, right? we need to go and to then... the house first. We'll be we'll okay. sort of casing the joint. In fact, if he can go invisible, he could just fly around the whole place and just gives a rough idea anyway. Mm. Well, assuming there's an opening. Well, I mean, inside or out. Look True. through the windows. Go down the chimney if the fire's not lit. If the fire is lit, it might be worth a try. How do you deal with fire, Hawthorne? I will poof and um. I'll have to summon him uh, again. Yeah. No mind then. Okay, so you're not... Okay. Mm. So don't go down the chimney if the fire's lit. But, I mean, like I said, you know, windows, everything. I, listen, we don't... The climate here doesn't exactly lend itself to having a fire burning all throughout the day, so I'm sure it'll be fine. But, um... E- either way, it, do a good job. I'd have to use a spell slot if I wanted to get anything out of Onu, so... Okay, Actually, so no, I wouldn't. Check house. Remembered. But that's fine. Let you know if this guy or gal, I don't know who I'm looking out for, gets out. All right. Um, I will sign to to Kess the to tell Thorn the it's it's a man he's looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, he was described. Trix mentioned his name was he was a Githyanki warrior, but I don't know what that race is, so I don't know what that looks like. Mm. You're describing there. She mentioned two people. Oh no, no, she was. She. This is a red dragonborn named Russ. That's whose house we're going to. That's a different dude. There we go. Sorry. So I'll tell then Kess through via sign language to tell Hawthorne he's looking for a red dragonborn man named Russ. 
I'll repeat that information. Okay. Yeah, I forgot that I think once per long rest I can speak with animals for free. So that was, uh, yeah. that's a good one. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, then onwards. All right. Yep. Yeah. How I'll far from the, how the far from the town is it? A child. Uh, it's uh, wow. You were still keeping that. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. In, okay. Hmm? I was a child. This, this entire whole time, time. a child. Yep. Yeah. Um. I know yeah. everyone's I mean, except still, like the house a child. is still inside the town, uh, and the town okay. is very really small. And you know, you got told that it's the only house in the, in the town that has red roof. With the red roof. Yeah. Is the yes. town like walled off? They're the same as Jack's. Um, yeah, there's, like, not, like, Bro. super th big stone walling, but there's, like, a wooden, like, like... Yeah, I was, I was expecting it to be, like, open, like, a farm thing, but, yeah, okay. Bastard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess you guys are off then, mm -hmm. and you... Looking for uh, a red roof building. Yep. Right, uh, before we all get straight onto this, in case this goes tits up, are we all just looking like this? Are we? Oh, I have my armor and a mask. You I don't be... really do. I, I have can a go disguise invisible. kit. I have a disguise kit. I'm pretty fucking good at it, to be fair. Um. Do you... Artistic license. <laughs> True, but. Do we think I it's worth it? Is not doing, just cool players. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Look off. You can I do just the take for us cool play. <clears throat> I just take like a hooded cloak, like just a basic, probably just like a brown nondescript cloak out, and just put it on and put the hood up. I do. Uh, everyone else got some way of obscuring themselves just in case. I just um... pull my fucking hood up over my over my head. How long does that last? Yeah, in Debian, that we might I just have realized to change. in Debian's character art, I don't actually know. I need to go back and write down, like, see my notes for what you described your face yeah. as, because your character art, you can't see your face. You just have like your hood up, and you're just like eyes. <laughs> I'm like, Fuck, is this I don't better or worse than Gen like. having no character art? We now <laughs> yeah. have character art that reveals nothing. This character art has a bird. Has true. A bird. It's true. true. Is that your distraction? That's all that was important. Now, Davin doesn't That's exist. That's where all the money. Bird. All the, the budget went on the bird. Davin, That's why though. he's got no face. Yep. That's all the budget allowed. It was the bird or a face, and we went with the bird. <laughs> good, good call. Good call. Yeah, it was okay. a budget thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have Money's some like, religious investments. I'm sure there's some sort of like strap or something I can like just kind of wrap wrap my face a little bit. Just like a bit of cloth I can like use as like a makeshift hood. Sure, man. I'll try and find one of the but, reference. Books I mean. I had. I mean, they're very, like, ostentatious vestments because their vestments are working, <laughs> so they're very fucking gold and, like... It's just gold. that if this goes really, really fucking badly, we might all have to change outfits and, you know... Well, sure, you're well hidden in those cloaks. They can't see who you are, but if you then wear the same cloak somewhere else... Oh, uh, it is also fairly standout that I'm a ranger to begin with, which... I'm just going to go invisible when we entering. get close. That seems sensible. It's... Should I be disguised mm. while we case the place, or... I've never You're... really robbed a house before. You're quite identifiable, so maybe disguise yourself ahead of time. All right. I will be... Even right. just In approaching fact... the house might be an idea. Brooks, can you accompany me upstairs? Sure. And I'll head up to the room. Yeah. So in after our session zero, or yes. in that week, I said that I bought a change of clothes, right? Yes, she did. So I'm gonna change into those clothes. And okay. then well, you know, not while Brooks is watching or anything, that would be weird. <laughs> I mean you did invite him to the room. Yeah. Yes. Room he has a disguise room. kit. Room where come with me to this room. Uh -huh. Remove. Oh Bro shit. Brooks come upstairs for a minute. While he gets undressed, <laughs> while he gets undressed, is there like a, a bathroom attached to this like communal room? Yeah, he just goes and has a heat and shit. I'm like getting changed. And he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking hell. I will go into that bathroom. <laughs> yeah, and I will come out uh, looking Naked. like. Oh my god! 
<laughs> I I will come out with vaguely similar features, but uh, pointed ears. Ooh. And a uh, a very simple uh, black uh, coat that's buttoned up at the front, uh, cloak, uh, like sort of uh, mild, low ends nobility sort of clothing. Uh, rings on on one hand. Um, is this like, are you using your disguise kit for this at all, or is this just stuff that you have and you're just putting it on? Uh, with this one, I'm mm -hmm. using my disguise kit. Okay, in that case, I would like for you uh, to make an intelligence check, and if you are proficient with disguise kits, add your proficiency bonus as well. Uh huh. <laughs> it's 15 total. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's convincing enough, you think. It's, uh,. You definitely don't look like yourself, which is the point. So. Yeah. Yeah. Whether I'll change I would out of get my... in anywhere as a noble is, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'll change out of my ranger uniform into regular common clothes and sort of fold everything and put it like on my bed or with my belongings. And then, yeah, I'll, uh, when, when Brooks comes out, all disguise, I'll be like, oh, I don't suppose you could sort of give me some sort of makeover as well. What do you want to look like? Anything in particular or? Um... Not me, I suppose. Okay. Um, no, I mean, the point it is, is probably a solid idea. I, I will use my disguise kit to give him... Uh, does Davian have facial hair? Yes. Okay. Uh, is it quite long? Cause I haven't seen his face, and I can't remember how you... I, I'm, it. I'm literally looking for the reference sheet right now. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, is it long facial hair, or is it... No. It's a little scraggly, but it's not long. Okay. Um, if he can be convinced to, Problem I will solved. quickly trim it down. No. Uh, I'll use some some fucking uh, powders that are in the disguise kit to make it from anything other than quite close look like he has no facial hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will make his ears look pointed, and I'll give his skin a slightly bluish, greenish hue. Okay, uh, make another Can intelligence you... check and add your proficiency bonus. And while he's doing that, when he's not looking for, for lulls, I want to try and like dip my Fuck finger yeah. in some of the black, if he has like black pigment, like anything that looks like it could be like eyeliner or something, and literally just draw like a really cheesy looking mustache on my face and make a funny <laughs> face at Kest. And see if she I mean, laughs. they went upstairs to the room, so I did like it. Didn't oh, <clears throat> okay, never mind. Because so I would have stayed downstairs. There. Now, because I'm just going to up the hood, so I'm not I, I got a fucking 21. I got a natural 19. Oh shit, well there you go. Yeah, Davian Better looks... at doing someone else's makeup than my own. Davian at this oh, yeah. point um, that makes sense. kind of looks of like a mixture between uh actually no, he looks he looks fairly like like wood elven now, just by the mm. by the by the by the, by the, the skin tone and uh, the pointed ears and I've got quite like longish auburn hair, just like I look like a different person entirely. Mm -hmm. uh, are you disguising yourself as well, Jax? Is that what you were, you were going to do? No, I'm going to pop out my new armor. Ooh. So instead of my bigger, bulkier, semi-looking-like-plate armor, it turns into this more sleek, smooth armor that kind of just, like, curls up and doesn't have, like, the plates overlapping. It's just, like, one smooth surface almost. Okay. With the same, with just a little bit slightly different uh, red runes glowing in it. Like a Power Ranger, dude. And yeah. then my mask comes up as well. Ooh. No one can it. It's like a little oh, night yeah. mask. I don't know how to describe Fucking, it. Like, um, well, uh, death death stroke. And... Mighty more from Power Rangers. Uh, All right. yeah. Fuck wow, yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, does that do anything for you? Like, like. Oh, yeah, it changes all my shit. Change all your no. shit. God damn. No. All right. I actually had cool. to edit my character. Oh, change and on top of just putting a cloak on, I'm going to like take my tail and like stuff my tail like in my clothes so my cat tail doesn't stick out. Syrian kind of looks at you all disguising yourselves and is going to. Give me a second while I open up her sheet. She's going to cry and. We go on tea. Uh. 
Um, buy a wig, and we'll go put give her a, a wig. <laughs> there we go. Um, kind of looks at you all disguising yourselves, and she is going to go up to the room, seeing that uh, Brooks and Davian are are there, busy giving each other giving each other makeovers. Uh, she's oh going to God! Start. So <laughs> tell me the gossip. Uh, it's going to quickly slip into the bathroom and uh, emerges a few minutes later. Uh, what she you normally was wearing were these like 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 this green and brown leather outfits. She replaced with uh, uh, a semi fancy looking dress with some with some golden trimmings and and uh, her hair instead of like the kind of the messy. Uh, the messy, like long, not really touched that it had that it has been for the past like week or so, kind of done up in a done up in a bun. It looks at you too. Will this do? You think? You definitely scrub up better than than I could have expected. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. A Lazarin gonna swoop. Looks different enough. That's all that matters, really. Um, I'm gonna go upstairs and get changed into some traveler's clothes, which basically means she has. Uh, Are you still a, a fucking child? No, no not anymore. She, she, she <laughs> dropped that. <laughs> <just before. laughs> <That's laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> um, so now she's wearing a pair of like tight brown pants underneath, um, a long kind of sleeveless white. I guess it's kind of like a shirt that goes. T like basically turns into a skirt at the end with okay. the same kind of three section at the front just more squared off so it's a child in an adult shirt <laughs> <laughs> all right cool and with that you all uh, look uh, different on. except for what is Diagon doing anything about her uh Appearance, or is Diane just gonna be like? Just know, like focused? I, I'm gonna have the hood up on my uh, cloak that I almost never <laughs> wear, and I'm tucking, away. I'm tucking the tail because I, I have those really flowy, tail like tail. baggy pants. Mm -hmm. So I've just kind of like tucked my tail down the leg of like okay. one of my pants. Cool, cool, cool. That, yeah. All that's done. All that's done. First just time put... anyone has seen him, yeah. I think, outside of his ranger uniform. Yeah. No, yeah. Just, really no just long person. leafy cloak, just mm -hmm. like a, a fucking beige shirt and some normal pants and shoes like just vibing oh, yeah. looking like an elf i mean these massive like priest garb <laughs> just like <laughs> i think i would leave my bow yeah. and i think i would just yeah and i would just have my my swords okay. yeah fair enough and with that, we'll say that about like 15 minutes have passed while you all kind of done up your outfits and all mm -hmm. that. So you have 15 minutes left before it is uh, 5 p.m. <clears throat> uh, do you set off? Yeah. Yes. All right. So you travel uh, into the direction of town where uh, you got told it was and immediately see a house with red roof tiling surrounded by a bunch of houses with blue roof tiling. And you figure, oh, there it is. Interesting. I have to get planning uh, for that. <laughs> um, what do you do? As you approach, you're kind of like this this like smaller square. House is kind of like surrounding it, and then there's this one house kind of in the middle. Of, I'm gonna go in, invisible. in the middle of a row of three houses. The middle one is the one that you need. Is it a tall house? Like um, two floors? What's the, two, what's the layout? Yeah, it like seems like a, a two story house. Um little, little little pathway that leads into what seems to be like a backyard of some sorts. And like a small front yard as well. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go invisible. Okay. I'm gonna uh, telepathically tell Thorn to go invisible and start checking the outside of the house. You um, tell him that, and he just. Cool. Is this all residential? Are there any benches or anything? Uh, yeah, there's like a, a couple of benches. This is like a smaller, like residential area with a square, with like a small fountain. I'll go just like take a take a seat when at a bench as long as it has like a line of sight. Stand? No, no, it doesn't. I'll take I'll take a seat at a bench that has line of sight, and I will just sort of co well command Onu to sort of take flight and try and be a little inconspicuous, as difficult as that might be. Because if he's sitting right next to me, he's going to draw a lot of attention. Whereas if he's up in the air, you know, it might not necessarily draw attention to me at least. So just big tropical burb. When yeah. Kesk goes invisible, I'm going to cast C Invisibility. Okay. 
Oh, it's no trust. <laughs> okay, so you cast Sea Invisibility, and uh, you can see um, Hawthorne kind of floating its floating his way towards the house. Uh, and where, where is Cass going? While um, Cass is gonna is the front yard kind of fenced off. Uh, there's like a small like hip height like fence uh, fencing around it, yeah. Okay, it's something she's gonna you could easily just hop over. Yeah, she's gonna hop over the fence and kind of like approach the windows. See if there's anything inside that looks interesting. Uh, Hawthorne uh, does the same. It goes, flies up, and checks the the upper floor. Uh, make a perception check. Okay. Do, do, do. Where are my stats? Uh, he's a uh, what is he again? Um, I uh, a sprite. sprite. My perception right. was sixteen. Hawthorne has a perception of plus three. Yeah, so that's uh, a dirty 20 then in that case, because I roll for Hawthorne. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, yeah. You don't necessarily see anything through the window. Um, okay. Hawthorne does telepathically tell you that he sees um, like some shadows uh, bouncing off the wall in a room that is lit by candlelight. Okay. Indicating that uh, there is someone upstairs. All the windows, I'm assuming, are closed? Yes. Is there a way I can get around to the backyard? Yeah, there's like a little pathway. I'm just gonna. Okay. I'm gonna. There. I'm gonna stealth and like go down the old pathway. Sorry. I'm gonna stealth and go down the pathway. Make no noise. Make a stealth check with advantage because you're invisible. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then I have a plus four, one d four, six. Uh, stealth. So that is twenty six. Okay. Good to know. Um, yeah, I mean, you get to the backyard, uh, you can see in this backyard, there's, um, uh, qu quite a big tree, just kind of, it's kind of vibing there, uh, some, like, flower beds, a small shed, um, and a, a well, and also a back door to the house. Okay. Are the windows? Windows are closed. Okay. Closed, um... shut. Um... I want to check and see if there's anyone in the shed. Uh, you approach the shed, and the shed, uh, if you're trying the door, the door is locked. And there's like a little padlock on it on the outside. Does it sound like there's anyone inside? Make a perception check. Oh shit, that didn't <laughs> even hit my dice tray, what the fuck? Nice. 17 plus, uh, 23. Um, no, you don't hear anything. Okay, I'm gonna try and unlock it. Do you have thieves tools or, or something? Yep. Yeah. Uh, make. Uh, are you proficient with thieves yep. tools? Let's make a dexterity check and add your proficiency bonus. Dexterity. Seven. Uh, Twenty plus and proficiency. Where's my proficiency? Plus two. two I think. Two. Yeah. 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 So twenty-two. Uh, yeah, you you pick open the padlock and remove it, and as, as you open the shed, it's just a bunch of tools, like carpentry okay. tools, but also some some bigger like like uh, gardening supplies. Doesn't look like there's anything like hidden in any kind of false drawers or anything. Um, <clears throat> make an investigation check. It's probably redundant, but investigation. Oh, that's like 15. Uh, as far as you can tell, no, this just seems okay. tools slash gardening supplies, some some bags of like soil and pretty average cool. stuff. I'll close really. and lock it, and then can I try and climb the tree? Um, sure. While you are doing this, yeah, you'll hear a door open and shut as you see this red dragonborn. Uh, leaving his back door, going around oh. the house, and as you all uh, are kind of spread around the square, you can see this 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 man uh, leaving his backyard through the front yard and then leaving the area. Um, I guess gonna... we all see this. Anyone who's sort of around in the street would see him leave. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna telepathically ask Hawthorne if there's anyone else upstairs that he can tell. No, he blew the candle out. Okay. Uh, 
I'm gonna tell him to go tell the others that he's gone then. Yes. That I'm around the back. Okay, so Hawthorne kind of flies towards the square, uh, sees Davian sitting on, on, on the bench and just poof, right, right in front of his face. He's like uninvisibles himself. Um, Fuck you know. <laughs> sorry. Um, guess it's around back uh, in the backyard. Uh, dude left. Uh, so it's, you're good to come. Just, just get anyone and, 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 and meet us back there. And he just... Well, let's oh, go. Okay. I'll stand up yeah. and just look around and gesture to anyone I can see and start heading towards the house. Yep. Um, is Hello? the back door locked? Um, yes. Can I try and pick it? Uh, you can, yeah. I want to approach sneakily just because a, a gang of strangers in this neighborhood just walking up someone's house might be a little <laughs> sussy. Uh, make a stealth check in that case. <clears throat> I got 16 yeah. for the 16? these doors. Oh, you didn't check for traps, did you? What? Oh, yikes. It's unfortunate. Ever had She'll, learn. She'll learn. That's mm -hmm. unfortunate. You crank that soldier boy. No, you... <laughs> uh, Insert the lockpick, and as you start, like, moving it around, fiddling with it, you suddenly just, as as your hand suddenly just gets shocked. Okay. Um, you take eight points of lightning damage Ooh, as you just... fuck. And just kind of let Yikes. go. In the process of this, your lockpick does break. Okay. I have more. That's My fine. guy's just got a taser strapped to the fucking other side of the, <laughs> the lock. door. <laughs> just got the a battery lock breaks, yes. and the part of the lockpick that like broke is now stuck kind of in the lock, and it's a oh, mess. Oh, that's the worst. I got 17 on my stealth check. Okay. Um, as I walk over to the house, is there anyone around that's not us? Um, make a perception check. <clears throat> Okay, thank God that wasn't a natural one. I thought it was for a second. So seven plus where's my shit? Um, uh, uh, eleven. You see some kids kind of like playing with a ball down the street, but other than that, you don't see anyone. Okay. <clears throat> they don't seem to be paying attention to us. Try and stealth no, up as just, well. They're, they're, they seem very focused on just like kicking the ball back and forth and okay, playing footy. Are we all stealthing stuff. over? Yeah, I'll stealth over. Okay. Got a fifteen. Sure. I'm a stealthy boy, boys. Mm -hmm, yeah. What'd you get? We'll stealth you know. again. Go on. 12. I did. Thankfully, I don't have to roll a disadvantage because of the armor. Nice. But. You rolled a roll shit. You or, I rolled a six and I got four. So. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> All right. As I, as I approach the house. Real quick. How many windows are there on the front of the house? How Are there any open? And are there any like climbing plants or anything vines uh, that i might be able to none of the windows are open um there is two windows on the front side upstairs one front side downstairs um and the same goes for the back side of the house 24 stealth check very good very good um i will is kes still by the front door back, back, door. back. But that's what i meant yes yeah. still by the door i will Perfectly go up to where Kess is, mm -hmm. touch on the back, and give a vigilant blessing. Wait, is Kess still invisible? I have yep. Steve's visibility. Oh, true. Yeah. Is there a chimney? Oh. oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will perfectly go up to her and just give her a vigilant blessing. Like, I'll go and just put a hand on her back. Just go. Yeah. She's just gonna like turn and wink at you, and then go go back to what she's doing. Yeah, is there a, a chimney, and is it smoking? There is a chimney, and it's not smoking. Pull out my crowbar. Oh. <laughs> I might go down the chimney. Do it. Look. How easily could I climb to the roof of That's such a um, bad idea? The walls are quite sleek, but you can certainly try. Okay, hear me out. <sighs> the moment he comes back, he's going to realize something's fucked because the crown's gone, right? So. Well, okay, not necessarily. What, what are the odds, you know, we don't know where the crown is in the house, but what are the odds that he checks on it every single time? If we do as little damage as possible, we might buy ourselves some more time. Although, Siren kind of speaks and... up to you now and... Didn't... 
the Dragonborn say? There was a hidden passage? Oh, yeah. Um, it needs I... more fun, though. I wrote that down. Yeah, it's in the backyard. Okay. Somewhere. Can I go can check I... the well? You can. And oh, can well, I well. start looking around? They have their own well? Yeah, dude. High society much. Can I start looking on the ground to see more? It's like, is there any, maybe a plot of grass that's like slightly discolored from the rest, suggesting maybe it's fake and there's a trap door under it or like a a, a, a patch of shrubs that look like they might be hiding something behind it. But, Paving uh, stone that you can pull up and there's yeah. just a tunnel. Make an investigation check if you want to just check out the, the, the grass and like the yeah. floor. Yeah, uh, the grounds I, basically. Kess, make an investigation check for the well, you say? Yeah. I feel like I wells just, are becoming a bit of a running theme in this campaign. This, this <laughs> thought of like... I'm eyeing up how to climb up the wall, well, and guy, Brooks guy. is slowly pulling out a crowbar, and Siren's like, what, guys. <laughs> it's guys, a, guys literally a secret message. message. Yeah. Oh, Alazarin was saying something. Yeah. Can I assist Daigon, or at least then give them guidance? I will take I will... guidance. Yeah. With Siren's like two... fucking point, I will head around the back of the house to join the others. Okay. <laughs> with the guidance, it's a bit better. I rolled a 12 investigation. Um, the grass and, like, the floor in general seems pretty normal. Darn. Um... <clears throat> guess no astroturf here. All astroturf. What did you roll, oh. uh, Bell? Fifteen. Fifteen? Wait. Oh. Uh... Okay, cool. Never mind. Keep going. Look, I... Uh, you check the well, and it seems to be just that, a well. Okay, cool. I know that we don't all necessarily like tricks or whatever the fuck her name was, but if we don't make it look like we at least searched the house, then do you not think maybe he's gonna go, oh, I wonder how they knew exactly where it was? It could have been anyone. It could have been someone who'd had their eyes on him. It could have been... Well, apparently it's not his crown. It easily could have been the person he stole it from keeping tabs. I, I don't think this necessarily leads back to tricks. Disembodied voice. does? She's still in prison anyway, so what does it matter? It's not that hard to get no, someone in prison. She has an alibi. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying that, like, if we go straight forward, it's going to be very fucking clear that we knew where it was. How would we have known where it was? The one who's in fucking prison and therefore the most likely to spill. Yes, well, I don't think he'll be able to question her for very long, so it's fine. What makes That's you think that? Did you, hold on. Well, I'm sure Did you say there was a have some... No, go on, sorry. <laughs> I was I'm gonna sure talk she'll about. get out or someone will help her get away. Um, Dutch, did yeah. you say there's a shed or something? Uh, a shed and a pretty, pretty, oh, pretty big tree it, yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just... a pretty big tree, huh? Mm -hmm. I think a it's a pretty big tree. With... Mm. There's a hole in the tree. Are there any. No, okay. An illusion. Well, are there like. Are there like. You know, gaps in the roots where there might be a little like. Ooh, you know? like to investigate the tree. I would like to investigate the tree. Roll investigation check. I can't I wait for him to tell us it's just a tree. Like professional <laughs> courtesy, we should maybe not make it clear that we knew where it was. 16. Yeah, I totally agree. You go to the tree, and what? as you approach it, you kind of start knocking on the tree, and it mm. seems hollow. Hey. Mm. Oh my god. You go around, you kind of go around the back of the tree and notice that there is a wooden plank kind of dressed and disguised as if part of the tree that you can easily mm -hmm. remove, revealing the entire tree to be hollowed out, and where normally the roots would be, there is just a, a uh, like a, like a latch. I will, uh, gesture to, gest gesture to everyone as they're sort of talking in the, in the yard that I found it, and then I will... If Onu's flying around out there somewhere, signal to him to come down, and I will explain to Onu to just... Because he's not going to be able to come with us. Uh, I suppose just make yourself scarce. Um, and if, well... Return to the tavern in two hours, you know, go eat some fish or something. I don't know. 
Uh, Owen looks at you and just gives you a little nod of understanding, and then. <laughs> All right. God, I love my bird. <laughs> so with no bird and no bow, the ranger. <laughs> Even are you anymore? Lifts, lifts the latch and heads inside the tree. <laughs> okay. I'll go in after him. Another third. Second in my. Why is third in my? No yeah, one checked yeah, yeah. latch for traps. Uh, Latch wasn't trapped though, so you're good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody checked. It's too late now. It's too late. Ah! You, uh, you all climb down. Uh, Sirin we'll also accompanies you. Uh, and you end up in um, a smaller space. Uh, it's not a particularly big room. Um, you can see in this room there's some, there's some bookshelves, but uh, in the middle of the room there is a tiny desk. And on top of this desk sits a blue box, uh, surrounded by some kind of purple field of energy. What? Uh, so a big open room. Oh, big room. Small room. Oh, small room. Sorry. It's a very small, small room. room. Yeah. Some bookshelves and stuff spread around the walls, uh, and in the middle there is a, 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 a like a like a pedestal slash desk with a blue box on top of it, and this entire like area is like surrounded by a purple like force field almost is there like another passageway out or does this seem like a one way in one way out kind of thing uh, make a perception check this seems beyond my my pay grade oh, 15 15 uh as far as you can tell the only way in and out is that latch that you came in from or came in through. i'm gonna i want to scan the bookshelves real quick yeah I will cast, uh, yeah, I'll manually cast Detect Magic, and I'm going to see if there's any sort of links between, if there's any magic, okay. obviously, that's coming from that purple fucking sphere thing, mm -hmm. and if there's any of that same type of magic in the rest of the room. Uh, there is. With well, your spell, uh, Detect Magic, you find four runes spread around the room, like oh. scratching the walls, giving off the same energy as that force field is. <gasps> I will uh, say... Each, force field rune, on. each rune is different. Mm -hmm. um, it's a puzzle. Puzzles. And is derived from uh, a language that I don't think you speak. If it's draconic, none of us do. It's not draconic. Com yeah. Common, deep, elvish, undercommon. You do not speak it, no. Cool. I'll just kind of look at um, There seems to be some sort of rune. Is it in Dwarfish or Sylvan? No. It's going to be a fucking Abyssal. You see room, the runes, or are they like in the. I will point them, I mean, I'll point them out. If Elasm points them out. Okay, can I'm going to drop invisibility and okay. cast Comprehend Languages. Hey. Do any of us need, can I, do I understand what these are? Are they infernal? They are I infernal. Don't. Oh, shit. Oh, well, I understand shit. them now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll look at the one that Lazarus <laughs> pointed out. I pointed out all four, so. <laughs> I'll look I'd at like... whichever one he pointed out first. That one. Okay. One on the left. Um, yeah, they're basically, there's one in each corner of the room. Uh, yeah, just for the sake, of, for sake of ease. Um, the top left one um, says right, the place. words the third layer of the hells is in the public's eyes probably the worst. I'll repeat this to everyone. One single rune says what, that. What do the That's other say? That, yeah. One single rune. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lauren. Come. What about the other rooms? Like fucking um, Gallifreyan or whatever it's whatever yeah. the language is called, yeah, where like yeah, one Gallifrey. thing means like yeah, very like, nuanced uh, language. Definitely up its okay. title. What's the second Stop one. Stop asking questions. <clears throat> uh, the one on uh, on the other side, like across from it, says. <clears throat> First off, I never particularly cared for the history of the hells. Okay, I'll repeat that one out. Now, to do that, Kess, you have to touch it. Do I? Well, I'll just be doing to, that then. To comprehend the written language, it. yeah. Do you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. To comprehend the written language, you have to be touching the thing that you're trying to read. Mm -hmm. oh, fuck. Uh, okay, so in that case, uh, you go <gasps> to that one, touch it. Uh, Take says, another eight first light. off, I never really particularly cared for the history of the Hells. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rune seems to just kind of turn off. Ooh, that's first. Oh, maybe to do them in the right order. Did that... 
I would do like you, to did read, you read the next what it one, said? Mr. DM. Did you read out what it said aloud, Cass? Or did you just read it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I read it out loud. I would like so, to read the next one, please. Oh, um, when when she read it out loud before they read the next one, I would go over to her and tap her and in sign seeing it disappeared in sign language, say maybe we have to touch them in order that one had the word first in it didn't the one they just read have the word third maybe yeah. if one of them has uh, the word second and first, the word fourth the third be on layer. the lookout mm -hmm. okay yeah so I, I tell Kess that i'll bias. say that to brooks and um <laughs> tell me which one to touch next i will read the next one um the one closest to you like to the right side of how the place uh, of where you entered the place right. says <clears throat> This is the second time that nosy hey. neighbor asked about my business. That one. So that I will look second. at Cass. And I'll touch the second one. Okay. That one also uh, turns off, like stops, em uh, stops emanating. Solve it. By that logic, the we should then, yeah. <laughs> third and fourth. The I'll, layer of the house of the worst. I'll touch, I'll go up to the third one. And touch that. Oh, well, the last one touches the third one. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that one also turns off. Well, then that one. Oh, that leaves one. I want to. What's one. it say before we make? I want to read it before we do it, just in case it's, read it. it's juicy. The seventh. Read it and find oh, out we're all wrong. <laughs> what's the What's the last one? Read, Mister DM, please. Let the last tell us what one you reads. Um, I've encountered a Rakshasa, the same Rakshasa, four times now. He's a persistent one. I will read that to them, and then I will go. Four. Pretty sure. Had a fucking bedtime story about a Rakshasa once. While this is um going on, don't you? Yeah. I want to be scanning the bookshelves for books about the Fey Wild. Books about the Fey Wild. Wow. Yeah. Good to know. Keep that in mind. I just want to scan it for books that seem interesting. I'll be honest. I was gonna go and keep watch. I didn't think that that could be in any use of this, but you knew you could so. speak. You knew you could speak this language. Well done. So did, once they're all disappeared, does mm. anything happen? Does the purple force field around the box seem to be yeah, affected? Yeah, if you also actually go to touch the the one that last one. Wait, did Brooks touch that last one? Um, oh, yeah. The force field will uh, dissipate. Hey, I'll go approach it. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll kind of put my hand out. Um, to get, just wait one second and again keep my detect magic still up from the like. Mm -hmm. I assume it didn't take ten minutes to fucking find this. And we see visibility as well. I'm just going to scan it and make sure there's fucking nothing very else. Slow read. Either uh, invisible or magical other than the box. There is something magical coming from inside the box. Yeah, but uh, yeah apart, apart from that, it's going to be like... Apart from that, there's nothing, nothing invisible in this room. What's the school uh, of magic of the thing in the box? I ain't give a shit that. No, uh, I mean, I, I, mean that one. I mean, a last room dude wouldn't understand school of magic. He's like... It's basically his version. Is, is it evil magic? And then that's as good as it gets through. Yes. Like, I, oh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell I assume it's not touch fucking the thing evocation. In the box. Uh, as far as books go, um, Illusion. Just make a quick like perception check to see if at a glance you spot something that. Um... Fuck me. Wait, me, me or like, Jack? Both, because you're both looking for books. So you're looking for both different things. things. I rolled a seven as well. Uh, neither of you really spot anything super interesting. And then we high five. Oh, I, I have to like jump. As well. <laughs> okay. Um, this is kind of, I'm going to check for yeah, traps. Don't. Just like in the area. Wait. I want to do box. like a quick. Yeah, uh, did it like pu pulling Let's all the books it. like out a little <laughs> bit to see if there's any like secret door shenanigans going on? Just like. Doo -doo 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 -doo, and putting them back. Plays piano tune. Um, okay. Like, how long will you do this uh, before you get out? Oh, okay. How, how many books it, are there? Help him. There's like three bookcases. Uh, three bookcases with like like I get thirty odd books each. That That's not so, you do considering that you like do like four minutes. at a time, like well, you know with a forearm. <laughs> I'll do. Uh, yeah, I'll help him. Okay, so say we start on different bookshelves mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just slowly yeah. go through, and then you know finish on the middle one. Lady we could probably do the style. whole thing in a decent amount of time. Okay, but just all these questions. Uh, eventually, and uh, on the rightmost bookshelf, whichever one of you. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I pictured Jack's on the rightmost one. Uh, one of the books, you pull back and you hear a click, Ooh. and the wall opposite from the the latch that you came from, kind of like Diagon Alley, like t -t 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 opens up. Ooh, the foldy bricks. To reveal the rest of the basement of the house, there's a spider just kind of like vibing, sliding down my 
Oh, that's can get rid of that. unpleasant. Yo. Yeah, can you like yeah, other money yeah. yeah. to join like a in? Big one. Fuck off. Eat it for charity, Dutch. Yeah. <laughs> Once oh, again, Jax and I. Please no. High five. You gotta like. You gotta like. Swell it in a cup. Dynamic so, there you go. Hit dead. <laughs> Calls up. Hit dead. We're good. Let's We're get saved. the chocolate fondue started. Great minds anyway, think alike. Oh, Very so much so. There had to be something, eh? So, in the rest of the basement, what awaits us behind that wall? Organized. Um, just the average stuff you would expect to see in a house of like a, in a basement of a house. You know, like supplies, uh, foods, barrels of like. Oh, uh, stairs. Valuable. Sorry. Stairs? Yeah, there's a staircase up as well, yeah. Uh-huh. Do we, uh... Fuck, I, I know I mentioned it this? earlier. <laughs> and I know that Kes agreed with me, but... Should we maybe make it look like we searched the rest of the house as well and didn't just... I emphatically nod no, and I sign to Kes. We know the object we seek is here. We take it and get out. We need to find a way to close this fucking wall again, though, because it would be really oh, obvious that, we were here. I wanted to like a quick perusal of the basement. If there's anything, does does Kess tell me what Dagon said? Uh, I do, but okay. I'm also watching just all, like, a last room to make sure he doesn't open that box. Oh, I'm not going to. I'm just okay. checking yeah. for traps. Yeah. In the... I'm checking for traps in the area. I'm not going in fucking near that shit. Okay. Uh, th th no traps in the immediate vicinity. No. Okay. Yeah. I I and I'll also look at like where the box is on and see if there's any traps like around the box. And if no, then make an investigation check. Um, while you are doing that, what are you uh, like? Are you trying to find a way to just close? Like, that look at like what's in the what's around the barrels. Just kind of like if it's just food storages or it's like other food things. storage, like like this general supplies. Uh, nothing okay, really. just nothing super, super interesting. Just kind of like, no. okay. Uh, I got an eleven on my investigation. As far as you can tell, no uh, it doesn't. <laughs> it. I just kind of look and go. Doesn't look trapped. I ain't touching that thing and back I'll, away from I'll it. I'll get it. Um. I'm gonna like go to pick it up. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> before I just like mutter quietly to myself, Arsenal, if this kills me, I swear to God, and then I'm gonna pick it up. As I was gonna say, if you wanted to wait, I could try picking it the up. Box. They stick to the box. Oh, we can mimic. They stick to the box. <laughs> no! Fuck off! Fuck <laughs> off! The lid opens, and these like sharp rows of teeth oh, appear, my and this long God. tongue just yes, escapes. What the fuck is that? The lid. Well, it, it wasn't trapped. Two like lanky, long gray arms with claws, Fucking and two lanky, mimics. long legs, and you are stuck to this chest. I just uh, picture you are considered grappled mimic. by the mimic, yeah. Kes. I would like you to roll That's cool. initiative. Oh God! Oh, well, Kes, why did you have to say it? Well, Kes, you do have fault. advantage, Bell. This is obviously Bell. your fault. This was just the spur of the moment decision you decided Bell. upon here. Bell, you have advantage. Show you the on... Oh yeah, I do. <laughs> I you know, nobody, oh, nobody sick. even really batted an eyelid at the fact that Darian looks like a wood elf and I look like a noble. I mean, do we said you to get the size for a quickie. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and then two random guys came down that sound like us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, there must together, be some sense. way out of here. Is there a way to tell in the not. said the wood elf to the noble? Yes. Uh, yeah, you can investigate it, and there are small like, uh, tells. You know. The fucking I was saying, like, massive. I, 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 I was oh, just I thinking, also like, have Dark Souls is like the fucking chain. Typically, that are up or with, down. Like, the way the the the, um, the monster manual describes it is that if you investigate an object, if it's a mimic, you'll see like 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 scratch and teeth marks, kind of like. Surrounding the area. That's typically mm. how you can tell if there's a mimic in place or not. If your gotcha. character doesn't know that. Yeah, obviously, but. Um, I don't think it'd have helped us anyway. Oh, but... big natural one for Syrian. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hey, I'm not last in initiative, guys. No, it's great, because if Syrian's last, she can make a run for it after we've all died turn one. That's true. A mimic can't hit all of us, right? Mm. Right? Mm. Yeah, right. Maybe. This oh, is right? Dutch. It could be like a fucking homebrew mimic with twelve mouths. I would yeah, but, never. Yeah, but yes, twelve mouths. Twelve mouths with ten HP. <laughs> so kill. All right. Uh, this fight we have. Uh, Twenty plus, please. Twenty-one. 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 Um, I got twenty-two. Twenty-one, and uh, Fawn got twenty-three. Jesus. Rolls back on her bullshit. Three twenty ones. Three twenty ones. What's the, the Blackjack? Who has the highest dex there? 
plus three. I have 16. I also have a plus three. Oh plus my three. god. Roll. Okay. So you guys can just decide to, to, to be fucking. Maybe it. we'll let Kes go first because she's literally attached to it. And then. Well, yeah. I mean, okay. we'll and, then not. Yeah. and then me, then Davian, because my dex is a 17 and yours is a 16. Yes, okay, that's fair. Okay, <laughs> cool. Mine is also a 17. With that in mind, I'm going to run in peace. Just use your butt. Yeah. Oh. Just use your butt. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, 15 to 20. 19. 19. We all no, are just the same person. Don't say we all, okay? Wait, 19, 19. <laughs> which one of you has a higher dex? Plus My dex three. Is plus three. 17. Oh my god. Yours is 17, you go first yeah. then. Okay. okay. Am I the only shitty one that doesn't have a plus three dex? I've got a fucking Apparently. 19, and I'm going fifth. We're uh, all dexterous. No, you're looking in that 20 before sixth. the new rule went in. You're going seventh. Ha! <laughs> If we, include, 19. if we include Hawthorne and the Mimic, you go, you're going yep. seventh. <laughs> uh, what did you roll, uh, Jax? Eight. Back Which is pretty good for me. I'll take it. Yeah, yeah. It's all not right. under five. Uh, all right, Bell. So. Uh, I'm giving you the full control of Hawthorne here. So what is Hawthorne doing? Hawthorne's going to shoot it with his short bow. What do I just roll an attack? He has a yep. little, he has a little baby short bow. He's a it's long actually, long. Uh, it's actually proper full size long bow for him. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, cool. So uh, that is a 16 to hit. Uh, that does hit, yeah. Uh, the mimic has to make a DC 10 Constitution saving throw. Or what? Um, or oh. become poisoned. No, a natural 20. Okay, cool. He has it's a fucking one. poisoned bow. Yeah. yeah. What it a also shitty does little other, bastard. It also does some other cool stuff, but uh, uh, how much you damage are, like do? really damage. It, it just does one. If, One it, point of if it fails, if it succeeds, which is fine. Okay, fair enough. All right, is that Hawthorne's turn? Yep. All right, uh, Kess, it is now your turn. Uh, I'm gonna bonus action hex it. Yeah. What uh, no. ability do you want him to have disadvantage on when it comes to ability checks? Uh, the strength, uh, dex, con, int, wiz, or charisma. I don't know. Uh, strength. Okay. So he is now hexed. Um. And I still have my action, even though I'm grappled, right? Yeah, you're just stuck to I'm it. Just but you your action. Yeah, you're yeah. grappled. You, just, you can. So you just can't move. You can use your action to just attack it or try to escape. Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blast it with Eldritch Blast. Do you Eldritch get disadvantage because you're right, right close? I don't know how Eldritch Blast works. Yeah, because it's a ranged spell attack. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. And you're, yeah. Yeah, so disadvantage on the uh, attack roll. Cool. Hey, one of them fell on the floor. Nice. Hog. Oh. <laughs> nah, that's fine. Uh, in 19 to hit. With disadvantage? Yep. Fuck I rolled me. a 14 and a 16. Fuck me, all right. Yeah, that hits. Cool. Uh, 1d10. Uh, 6 force damage. 6 force Plus, damage. Plus, I'm gonna do my thunder damage. Ooh. Which is, uh, plus a, what's my thunder damage? Plus 2 thunder. Plus 2 thunder damage? Yep. Alright, so you, uh, the way you kind of, like, you know, you both hands stuck to the chest, because that's how you picked it up, you just kind of Manage to just kind of channel some of your energy into your into your necklace and just boof, try and, and and blast at this mimic uh, from up close. Uh, some of the like fake woody exterior kind of splinters and and some chunks of like fleshy gray bits kind of fly out, fly out, and fly everywhere. And the mimic just kind of this is really the only sound it makes. Uh, upon uh, impact. Uh, is that your turn? I think I also get my hex damage immediately since I hexed it first. Yeah, uh, d6. So that's four necrotic as well. There you go. Very nice. All right. Let's uh, Daigon, it is your turn. Davi and yeah. Europe next. Um, how far is it from me? Uh, I mean, you're all, you're all relatively close by it because it's not the biggest room. So it's like 15 feet, if that. Okay, then... I'm going to get move 10 feet from it 
and use bonus action to summon my arms of astral self. Ooh. And it has to make a dexterity save for me. Uh, ten. It fails, so it takes... Uh, that's shit. It takes four points of force damage from right. just the fear of seeing me bamf out these arms. Oh, yeah. And then oh, yeah. with, with my spectral arms, I have a ten foot reach uh, to for unarmed strikes. So I'm gonna punch it from a distance and yeah. attack with my but my, my physical arms are staying up as like a guard and the spectral arms fly out to punch it. Fuck yeah. Um, Astro Monk is so cool. <laughs> that is a dirty 20 to hit. That hits. And it takes uh, seven points of, and I think it's also force damage. Let me check. Uh, the unarmed strikes you make with the arms. Yeah, so it takes another seven points of force damage. Fuck yeah. All right. And I will stay 10 feet away for now. Awesome. Because my arms can reach it. Awesome. Okay. Uh, Davian, it's your turn. I'm going to run, run in. As I'm running up, Hunter's Market. Fuck yeah. And then... <laughs> hexed and Hunter's Market. Poor guy. And then stab that bitch, dude. Hell yeah, roll Fuck this mimic. Melee Ranger, let's go. Oh, 22 to hit. That hits. Is a Melee Four. Ranger just a Meleeer? <laughs> oh, when I think about it. Oh, Snake Eyes, baby! One plus one plus three. Five points of damage. Uh, piercing damage? What are you using? Short sword. Slashing damage, I, I believe. It's piercing. It's piercing. Is it? Oh. It's thrust. I thought swords were slashing, but I mean, I guess, you know, you can, you can technically you yeah. can pierce with any sword, right? If you just... Yeah. Yeah. True. True. All right. Uh, anything else you wish to do with your turn? That's literally, yeah, everything I can do. So. Alrighty. It's now the Mimic's turn. Uh, Lazarin, you're on deck. Uh, the Mimic's going to... I mean, it has someone grappled already, so it's going to just open its big of lid. Of course it is. And just try and chomp down on Kess uh, with advantage because she's stuck to it. Quit for it. Uh, that is... A 17 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> so you see this like giant mouth open up and these like several rows of jagged, crooked but sharp teeth. And it just starts munching on you. Like it's, it kind of tilts over and your like entire head and like shoulders are just in the chest now. And you can see while you're in there, you can see another blue box inside it as it's just chomping down on your shoulder blades. Oh, um, bitch. You take. Between this lightning damage, Kes might die, dude. Uh, 13 points of piercing damage and 7 points of acid damage. Yeah, she's unconscious. I told oh. you! I told you! Not good. Yeah, if you're like like being grappled by a mimic is uh is Ruskies. Is Ruskies. Eh. Alright. So with that you fucked up, huh? Kess's body kinda goes limp a little bit. So we just see feet sticking out, right? Because uh, her upper like, half uh, is I in mean, it. She's like anything past like her shoulders is inside the oh, chest okay, right now. Okay, so that's fucking we can still see, so we see her arms kinda just uh, yeah, and yeah. like, like yeah. you see her you see her go limp. <laughs> yeah. uh, that is the mimic's turn. Elazrin, you're up. Uh Brooks, you're on deck. What a time, what a day to have taken off my bonus action healing spell. Oh, oh you absolutely. Oh, well. You still have your oh, action monster. healing spell, the I better do. one. I do. No, but I, no, I fuck do, that. But I also want to use my dome. Get the fucking dome up, you pussy bitch. But that doesn't heal her. Yeah, no. <laughs> fuck her. More. She can make another character. Mine's more important. Lies. <laughs> Outright lies. I... I've never expressed any enjoyment of Kess's mm. character. <laughs> yeah, you can. Oh, this is fucked in a bit. Oh, this is fucked what in a bit. What would Jesus do? Would, do what, something. What would do? I hate Another that. Another mimic with Kess inside it, probably. I mean, she has a lot of money. What would I will run up to Kess 
and touch her foot and do a level two cure wounds. All right. You freak. Uh, we're freak. all gonna die now. <laughs> <laughs> Why the foot specifically? Uh, Bruh. The, uh, the top half of fucking bodies inside a mimic. I'm not gonna be like, I'll touch her on the arm. <laughs> Am I? Why not? Because the legend's a pussy. <laughs> he's just go. He's just going. Go, it's... your goddamn heel, you fucking freak. We get it. Uh, like feet. <laughs> uh, that is for twelve. Twelve H pizzle. So Kess, you are conscious again. And then uh, I still uh, like still like a half hanging in. in you've the woken chest. her up What's from like? unconsciousness. And then I kind of nightmare. being eaten. And then and then if possible, like I'm just going as close as like I need to get, which is obviously still <laughs> touch range. I might am I gonna get an attack of opportunity if I try and back the fuck up away? Absolutely, yes you are. Hmm. Hell yeah. I'm, Would I'm, Lazarin know that? Find a cringe. Uh, I mean, Lazarin's still gonna fucking do it. He's still gonna run away. We can go back. Just go back. A, up, run up hill. Fucking run back. Okay, yeah, it's was. gonna it's gonna swipe at you with one of its claws uh, ah! as you uh, back up from it. Uh, what was that? A dirty dead. twenty to hit. Oh, yeah? Really? Wow. Yeah, that hits. Does it? Yeah. That's a D10, yeah. not a D8. That's you fucking moron. We still love you. No, you don't. I don't. Nobody does. True. True. Whoa. <laughs> uh, you take 11 points of piercing damage uh, as the claws oh. kind of like <laughs> bury in your flesh. That was not worth it. What the <clears> fuck? <throat> Ooh. Bury in the With flesh. Should I turn? Uh, yeah. Sure. Alright, Brooks, you're up. Uh, Jax, okay. you're on deck. I have a really out there wild plan. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bonus action rage. Just barbarian That's things. That's crazy. That's so and then wild, just dude. to mix it up, I'm gonna go forward and I'm gonna hit it. That's Whoa. wild, bro. That's crazy. Ooh, That's oh my there. god. He's pushing the envelope. Uh, <laughs> mm. uh, uh, 14. Uh, that hits you. Fuck, thank fuck. Fuck, thank fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with my, my hand axe, so. Ooh, that's good. Hey, that's 10 that's points of good. slashing damage. Alright. Not too shabby. Fuck this thing. That's my turn. Fuck this thing. Alright, Jax. Fuck, Kess, you're ruining my fucking turn, dude. <laughs> I was gonna do something so cool, and I have to do some basic bitch shit. It's all Koiba's fault. All right. Um, <laughs> first, Grab with your hands. I'm a, I'm a hold out my arm like a G. This little like pulse, this little like cannon thing comes out of my arm, and it shoots a bolt of electricity at the motherfucker. So you're Iron Man. Um, no, I'm better. No, um, I'm jacking it. I'm jacking because he has it. those little things that like they also pop like shoot little, little missiles. And... I don't remember honestly. That should be the nerd to know it's that. The, wrist, the, the rockets. wrist, uh, wrist rockets. The uh, Widowmaker things. There's a things. 21 hit. They call Irish Widowmakers? 21 hits. No, I'm yeah. the DM now. Yeah, yeah, 21 hits. The, the yeah, little I'm rockets have an actual name. I'm trying to figure out if a monster can be affected by Hunter's Mark twice. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by twice? Like, is like there any... Yeah, yeah, Hunter's Mark yeah because something. the Hunter's Mark is unique to the Ranger, okay. right? Yeah, it enables the Ranger, yeah. Because Siren's turn's coming up. Yeah, exactly. Can You're about to see some real cool shit with Hunter's Mark and two weapon points. fighting, let me tell you. <laughs> 10 points of lightning damage. 10 points of lightning damage. Um, and then I'm going to run over to Cass. She's such a bitch. <laughs> wow. And I'm going to tap her on the leg. And off of my hand comes this, like, sort of like, like, the or, you know what, fuck this. Is my spider, spider comes out, but it doesn't like stitch up her wounds it like weaves this like web over cast Ooh. and then Good calls thing back she's on not me. and she now has sanctuary cast on her wow what does yeah. that do what does sanctuary do <laughs> actually it's i don't like think i need to run AC over to you or something i don't even i don't even have to run over to you sanctuary um, basically basically if someone cool. tries to attack her they have to make a wisdom saving throw oh yeah. sick as long as she doesn't attack them first there you go so. She's, right, gonna she... attack. She's probably attack. gonna attack it first, though. Yeah, because it's I already had figured... its turn. Yeah, man, it's all good. It's fucking cool. I like seeing Jax pull out new trinkets and toys and yeah, yeah. Or toys that do things. Especially when they uh, help me. Spidey <laughs> silk. Is that your turn, uh, Jax? That is my turn. Right. It is now Siren's turn, and Siren is also going to cast a Hunter's Mark 
on the mimic. Boom. With her bonus action and with her action. Poor mimic, dude. Is going to. Yeah, take out her longbow and fire an arrow. Actually, is she. What does the range work on that? Is there like a. Oh, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So with her, with her longbow, just shoots an arrow at it. Uh, that's a 16 to hit, which does hit. So the mimic takes. Uh, eight points of damage. Uh, we go back to Hawthorne. I'll say uh, Hawthorne and Kes, because Kes is right after Hawthorne, so you can both kind of just uh, do what you want to do. Okay. Use um, your spots anyway. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna get, I'm just gonna get a Hawthorne to shoot it again. With the okay. bow. Me. Um, uh, 19. That hits. <clears throat> Roll for the saving throw. Con save. Um, it's a super low DC, right? Probably it's like 10. <laughs> yeah, it's 13. Okay, cool. So that's Hawthorne's turn. Um, I can see the box, right? Yes. Can I try and get it? You can always try. Okay, I want to try and get it. Do it. Do uh, it. As you reach in to try and pick up the like the, the real box from inside this mimic, uh, oh, God. the same adhesive that was used to have you stuck to the chest is used to have this box be stuck in place, and you cannot oh. physically uh, okay. tear it. Lame. Okay, cool. Well, that was my action, right? It was. So that all right, uh, Daigon and Davian is on deck. Um, I am going to try for my action to use all six of my current arms and grab on to Kess with all of them and try and pull her out of his mouth. Okay. Uh, and I yeah, can use a... my wisdom in place of my strength because of the spectral arms. Yeah, uh, in that case, make a wisdom check then. Uh, 14? 14 is, uh, the DC was 13, so you oh, shit. managed to Ooh. free Kess, uh, from the Mimic's mouth and just pull her out. Um, Kess, you're right. no longer grappled yeah, by this, uh, by this thing. <laughs> and I put her just down next to me, and then with still the reach for my bonus action, spend a key point for a flurry of blows and Hell do another yeah. pop pop with the spectral arms, because they can reach. Fuck yes. Hell yeah. Pull in a monkey D. Luffy right now. <laughs> uh, oh, are you kidding me? I will take a picture of this and send this to you. I rolled two twos on my D20 what? for the one yeah. attack and the next attack. So that's At least it wasn't seven. two ones. Yeah. Sevens uh, do not two hit, of the same shitty ass low number. Like, are you Who would ever do like, that? What fucking do loser? That? What <laughs> loser? <laughs> Uh, doesn't hit, unfortunately. <laughs> Alright, what a waste of a key point! Alright, well, that's, that's my turn. I, I got right. Kess out, at least. Oh, and I'm gonna position myself standing in front of Kess, like, body blocking between okay. her and the Mimic. Sounds good, sounds good. Uh, Davian? I will stab it with both of my swords. Nice. nice. Sword number one is a 12 to hit. Just hits. Oh! Okay, uh, which is a d6 plus a d6. At the end of the day, you are trying to hit like a, a box, right? So, like, box 14 points legs. of piercing damage. Oh boy. The first. And then. Oh, no, wait, wait. 6, 11. Yeah, yeah, 14. The second one doesn't get the modifier right from. Because it's, it's the two weapon fighting, so it doesn't get the plus three. Oh, but it is a mm. 21 to hit. Damn. Uh, that hits. Let me look that up real quick. Yeah, two weapon fighting. It doesn't get the modifier from your. Like I, I can read it right to you. Um, you don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus attack unless that modifier is negative. So I don't get the plus three. Right, right, but right, I do right. get the damage from Hunter's Mark. So it is still two d six. There you go. Beautiful. And it's an eleven. Ooh. So I rolled eleven both times. So yeah. 
wailing on it, dude. Hell yeah. Yeah. Pya, pya. Just stabbing the shit out of it. Good shit. 25 um, points of damage total. Yeah, that's, Let's go. That's, that's gnarly. Uh, as you kind of like jam your swords into it, you can definitely like, it looks like it's still this like blue, like box exterior, but as you kind of pierce it with your swords, it does feel like fleshy and mm. it, uh, as you pull your sword out, like the, you know, it, it, the creature bleeds and some of the chunks of flesh are like turned from this blue Ew. exterior to like this gray goop as you kind of, you know, nice. pull your swords out. It's gnarly. It's disgusting. Um, All right, let's get done. It is now the mimic's turn, and it's going to use his uh, pseudopod ability. Excuse oh, me. Great. To try and uh, wrap his arms around Davian and put him in his mouth. What's in Yo. your mouth? We're what having a fucking your... group no. meeting. My in turn. My turn. Uh, Twenty-one to hit Davian. Yeah. <laughs> you take uh, 15 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. And you are now also just like half of your upper torso is just like hanging hanging inside the mouth of this mimic and you are considered like grappled. How about right? we relax? Hmm? <laughs> mimic hunky. Nom 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 nom. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I only did 25. All right. That's perfectly fair. Yeah, he did, what, 15 back, you know? Still got 10 on him. Uh, that is its turn. Elazrin, you're up, and Brooks, you're on deck. Oh, the fucking dome comes out. Just... <gasps> <gasps> yeah. Nice. I had a tussle on a fucking do, because I don't have any bonus actions. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to stay where I am. Gang. Oh, I love it. I love it when I give myself the minimum amount. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's still 4 temp HP. I'll take mm. it. Yeah, it's still four more that than that. In the mimic's own. mouth, you know. True, but I did get called to shit. You did. My turn over. You did. Um, all right. Uh, that means it's Brooks's turn. Jack's on deck. Well, first of all, I'm going to draw my other hat. I'm not going to draw my other hatchet. I'm going <laughs> to uh, hit it with my first attack with my hatchet with my my one hand axe mm -hmm. it's a fucking uh, 18 to hit does hit yeah that's 11 points of slashing damage Ooh, okay nice no uh, bonus action flurry of blows hey he can do monk things now whoa, 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 whoa. yeah uh, that's a fucking uh, 19 to hit yep so that one is just a fucking elbow to the box you um, opened it. Oh god, you don't want to hear about an elbow to the box. Holy <laughs> fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, this might actually work out to be more damage for me now than my hand axe. Okay. Uh, so that is uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage. Very good. Because you don't. On your fucking uh, two weapon fighting, you don't add uh, your modifier. Modify words are hard today. You don't add your modifier to you. The box. Uh, you opened really. it. But you do. I can't use an arm strike. Uh, that's a 14 to hit. That also hits. That is another six points of bludgeoning damage. Very nice. So 24 in a turn. I'll take it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Not too Fuck bad. Thing. Right, is that your turn? Yeah. All right. Jax, you're up. Okay, how rough does the mimic look? The mimic? Yeah. Ah, it looks bloodied, yeah. Oh, that's just tempting. It's it, you can see like the the way it's Elite. breathing. It's kind of heavier. The grip on Davian looks a little weaker. New? Hmm. Just debating whether I want to use yeah. something new or not. I don't know. Oh, yeah, fuck it. Why not? All right. Out of fucking uh, Jax's shoulders, you see these like. Three holes on either, or two holes on either side pop out. And you see uh, little metal missiles shoot out. Ooh, oh my cast god. Magic missile. Casting magic missile? That's so sick, um, so, dude. And then three <laughs> glowing darts come out. Um, it's not magic. Nah, it's science missile. Damage. Science missile. Yeah, magic missile auto hits. So it's 
1d4 plus 1 for each one, right? Yeah. So that, oh my, oh my god. Did I just do it? Gosh, dude. I think I just did, I, oh, I almost at all fours. Almost oh. at all fours. Uh, that is 14 points of force damage. 14 Woo! points of force damage? How would you like to finish him off? Hey! Oh. They're gonna like go in his, wait. David is in his mouth, right? I am in his mouth. Yeah. The missiles are gonna like go into the Mimic's mouth in the like slide into his stomach and just explode it out, shattering or sh showering, showering everyone with blood mm -hmm. with guts. Oh, nice, with oh. mimic innards. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. My vestments. Um, <laughs> My vestments. <laughs> Davian, as you're kind of like inside the mouth of this of this thing, you just suddenly see it being pierced by these like glowing darts, and it just like immediately spits you out mm -hmm. as it just. Oof. Um, they're missiles, not darts. Um, oh, fuck off. <laughs> Aren't darts technically missiles? No. Darts are a form of missile. There no. you go. Wasn't wrong. Get fucked. Deflect uh, missiles. <laughs> Fuck you. And a missile is just an object which is forcibly propelled at a target. Apart, revealing the real box. Hey, uh, baby. There for you to grab. I'll go get it. Okay. I, oh, I'm glad I didn't wear my uniform for this. <laughs> I so look like baby. fucking Russian dolls. I l I it look. was pregnant. <laughs> no. It's another mimic, guys. Roll again. And I just <laughs> I'm kidding. shake mimic goo off my short sword. Yeah. And... I will, uh, and my little brushes and stuff will start cleaning everybody off. No, thanks. Nice. I'll, cast, I'll, cast, I'll, cast, I'll cast mending to like fix the massive fucking like tear that's in like my vestments. It's like, go, oh, go, go. gadget. <laughs> House cleaning. I have a sneaking suspicion that, uh, the one. that he might notice all of this. Now, listen, he will only notice if he comes down here into this room. He will have no reason to come to this room if he has I no mean, suspicion that we were ever here. You Maybe did he's open paranoid up a as fuck. Yeah, is that wolf? Well, in that yeah, case, we, we, know, we lose. Can I pull the book and see if it can we shut the, close? Can we shut the wall? Uh, if you pull, uh, like, push back the same book that you... Uh, Pulled out, it closes. A light switch. Oh, thank God. We were never here. Right. As soon as the door then closes, I, I just start like tapping, I cast, and I'm like, I like try and catch everyone's attention, like waving, and I just point out the way we came and seem very emphatic, like, I want to leave now. We've got what we cool. came for. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, get, uh, uh, not moving. Suspicion. As this I, Dragon doesn't like this. <laughs> as I'm moving, I'm gonna disguise self and turn into tricks. Okay. Oh! Okay. Well, that's oh, that's fucks. not that's not very fair. <laughs> She's uh, so in who's prison. Carrying, who's carrying the box? Yes. Uh, as you're carrying the box, Please. you feel just the sheer oh, no. strength and power of the okay. artifact within. Uh, so much so that you kind of, as you grab the box, have a vision Ooh. for a split second. Oh, good. A vision of a city built into a gargantuan corpse. Fuck off. You did. <laughs> and that's what you see for, for just like a split second, and then you kind of like collect yourself again, and you just kind of... You feel the insane, like, just power that this artifact possesses, and you kind of understand now why it's probably not a good idea for this object to be in... The hands of the common folk. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta... am not gonna say anything about it. I'm gonna send you something after this. Well, I'll send you something in the break, Dutch. Okay. I get that she's in prison, but do you not think that maybe we're pointing? Well, if right she's in prison, her? then there's no way she can be in two places at once. No, but she could have fucking told, which she did. She did tell, and now we're just um, walking around with a. As well as if a guard sees you, he's going to try to put you in prison. Yes. Yeah, so at which I point, point I drop that the jacks, spell. and I'm like, mm -hmm. at which point the guard's gonna go, "Why are you fucking walking around town as someone else?" Yes. As I want. It just to doesn't look very good. Looking for more leads about those arsonists. We already saw the guards. They already know who we are. Yeah, but they know that we. There's a very thin line leads. that you have to walk. And I guards think this have, is over that line. I don't guards understand what the line is. tend to have a very strong sense of, that seems weird. It's my civic duty to investigate that. Yeah. So I the just, best thing you can do is I, just not attract their attention. I, I signed a cast and go, I mean, the invisibility thing. 
was a Quantum solid plan Mac. before. Aw. Oh. Well, then I just signed and take a minute and go, given, obviously, this is not an innocent person by any means, and she is already in prison, but you also know how I feel about framing people for things they didn't do. <clears throat> A whole lot of fucking be a different color just... dragonborn. Yeah, I'm gonna change the tone of the, of the dragonborn. Yes. I'm okay with this. I give a thumbs up at that. Okay. Uh, as well, um, do you want me to put the box in the bag of holding just no. so it doesn't... No. D is it gonna look a little no. weird? With you I'm also Why don't we just get no. the fuck out of here? Let's fucking Let's get the fuck out. make a move. Shake a leg. Is this number one? Let's get out of here, I think. Okay, let's go. Yeah. And as you out. leave the place behind, traveling back towards Oh, the, and I uh, try and make sure closing anything behind us looks like, like, so we know that wall is closed. I want to try and make sure that plank looks like as close as it could have possibly been, like it's not slightly at a different angle or something. Like I want to make it look like no one was there. My okay. best I can. Question. Jax, could you make the mimic goop disappear and would it take a while? I did. Oh, fuck, yes. What about, did you do the floor as well? Yeah, or? I would have I cleaned everything up. Fuck it, perfect. Let's go. All right. Uh, and you Call make your way back it. to the uh, Solid Crow <laughs> Tavern, I believe it was. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Um, yes and we'll take so. our uh, break there. Yep. Cool. So we'll be back in like 10 ish minutes Hell or so yeah. for part two of the session. Geek Dice. Thanks for the follow. Great name. For the sake of brevity, brevity, oh, yeah, that's a sick name. Huh? I like it. For the sake of brevity, were we being followed? Uh, make a perception check. Can I use passive perception? Uh, fucking like 12. <laughs> Doesn't look like you are. Cool, perfect. 11, right. even better. Cool. Uh, so we'll be back in like 10 minutes or so for part two of the session. Thanks for watching so far, guys. Thanks for being here. If you're new around here, hit the follow button and all that good stuff. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so for more shenanigans. BRB.
Hello there. Hello. Hello. Gonna roll a Kenobi. <laughs> Hello, dude. Duke, that form from that dab dude, that's, that's a solid 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Dab yeah, form. 10. Might have even been an 8.5, to be honest. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, only good day. Thanks, man. Good day. Good job. Different judges, different opinions. Mm. I have to channel my key, you know, really mm. put everything in, into it. <clears throat> mm. I got you. Really I got you. work hard. Um, all right. Thank you so much for sticking around through the break with us, guys. Appreciate you. Uh, we are 11 followers away from 200, guys. We're slowly Whoa, sure damn. We're getting there. For Pog. Tell your friends, follow the channel, and all the good stuff. Tell your parents. Tell your, your parents' channel. Yeah. I wanna, I wanna sponsor a little, a little giveaway if we, you know, whenever we hit 200. So. Uh, Yo, Mr. Moneybank. Yo. Yo, PS5 mm -hmm. giveaway. I had, a, I had a good month on Twitch, so I figured. Oh yeah, PS5 <laughs> giveaway. The one you just got. Not He's that like, good a month. Fucking go fuck yourselves. Yeah, yeah not that good a month. <laughs> I mean, Demon Souls pissing them off. Dude. Might as well sure. get rid of it. I, dude, yeah. I redeemed myself. I streamed some more Demon Souls yesterday, like in the afternoon, and I beat some more bosses. I now know how the game works as to like where to go and what order and stuff to make. My I threw my controller easier. across the room. Everything's no, fine. Oh, dude, I am so like, I, I, I am taking good care of my controller. Because it <laughs> yeah. he places it down really. He like, tucks it in because you have one. Yeah, exactly. it's, it's like one. that. That episode yeah. of SpongeBob with the nice Krabby Patty when he like tucks yeah. in the pickles and like kisses him good night. Yeah, yeah literally. Be um, sure to kiss the homies good night. So you enter the uh, uh, before we enter the tavern. Ooh. Uh, a little, little, little ways away, and Jack's like to take a quick look around, see if anyone's around watching mm -hmm. us, and then usher the party into an alleyway. Okay. Oh. I'm confused. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, should I make a perception check to see if anyone's like looking at us? Sure. Funny. Okay. I mean, I'm looking at you funny. We're going Fourteen. Uh, I mean, there are people like on the streets, but no one is really like paying active attention to to what you do. Okay. Cool. cool. And then uh, when we're kind of like out of eyesight and earshot, I'll be like, um, what's in that box? What's in the box? I can't tell you that. I I just like go, I do like this and I draw a crown in the air, like we, and go like this, like duh, like we uh, don't know what there for. Didn't we in character know it was a crown already? Yeah, yeah oh, we yeah. told yeah. them yeah. the crown. Well, then I will okay. say the crown. Like, what is yeah. the crown? I mean, something that um, royalty to you use. Um, it's. I know what a fucking crown is. That's not what you said. You said, you what is a crown? Question? Well, why didn't you want to touch it, Elazarin? Oh, because it was horrifically evil. <laughs> well, I don't know. That. It was dark magic. It was using, it was basically necromancy, right? That's the school. And now um, Kess doesn't want to drop no. it. I, get, I don't want yeah, to drop it. Yes. I don't want to put it in the bag. Yeah, it, was, it has but, necromancy. And I'll, I'll sign to Kess it. here. He, I, he's worried about its hold on you. Here, pass it to me, because you know. I will give it. To I know Dagen. what it's for, and then see, like she doesn't mind. She'll give it up. I'm, give, uh, I'm you, giving it to Johnny. As you touch the box, Daigon. Yeah. You also get that same vision. The same vision. Of like this, yeah. this city built. Do we on see how it's like react right. to this? Um. I would do my best not to because I'm I expect it because I know a bit more about the crown so I was you, prepared for uh, that but make a make a perform hmm. you're trying to hide a reaction so I'm gonna yeah. try and make a performance check yikes negative charisma modifier let's go <laughs> <laughs> you make an insight check that is a nine uh, yeah, if you want to like look at her, okay, that's I a guess twenty-two. There's, there's maybe like a flinch when I. My when passive I insight is yeah. Like, yeah, my passive insight. My first is like six. Like, but... like flinch as she grabs a hold and like for a few seconds, kind of just like, uh, but eventually she like. I think it was that. The fewer of us touch it, the better. It's not going to do anything to you. Can, can I just see it for a minute? One no. minute, I swear I will no. get back. Ten seconds. No. Judging by her One minute. reaction no. when just touching the box, does opening it really seem like a good idea? I don't want to open it. I'm not going to do anything. I'm not giving it to you. Why don't and we just I also hand just, it off? Oh, how long be has it been, it? by the way? Has it been more than 10 minutes since we left the house? Like, how yeah. far was it? Yeah. Oh, damn it. If I still had all my arms, like, all my arms are empty. Like, yeah, <laughs> like a kid being like, it's just walking around the city with fucking <laughs> <magical> <laughs> arms. No, I, I think we should just hand this off and get fucking rid of it and be done with it. I nod. Agreed. 
It's not going to be used. I guarantee you. I prefer to have deniability, to be fair. North of these things. All right. Yeah, the less I know, the better. If comes back to places in the arse, at least we don't have um, to I'm going to take the box back from Daigon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, I'll hand it back. Um, and head into the tavern. Because this is the second time you touch the box, Fuck's sake. you get another vision. This okay. time not of that city, but more specific, a floating rock with on top of it a large structure held down, attached to this corpse by by big metal chains. Okay. I can't believe there's D&D &D stuff going on that I actually know. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's In go. my homebrew campaign? Down. This is something that I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea what uh, I'm gonna head guess. straight to Johnny. I love it. I love Something it. I know that they don't. Eat. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting the feeling yeah, that means we can get every song. session. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm savoring it. Okay. Uh, so um, how long on. has it been? It's not been an hour yet, so I guess. No. Um, no, bits of this stuff. Onu is not is not back at the tavern, so. Uh, you do see Onu like high up in the sky. He's just kind of flying around. I mean, I won't. I won't do anything. He's vibing. Okay. Um, um, I will immediately, as soon as we get to the tavern, go upstairs and. Oh, is, 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 do the rooms have baths? There. No. Was this a place with like the big communal yeah. baths? Was that no. the, was no, that no. New that's Dharma? The, that was New Dharma. And the room doesn't have a bath. Correct. I will go to Jolly. Well, well, I guess there's gonna be a, there's gonna be a lot of people waiting to talk to Jolly, but. Uh, I really need a bath. You don't look like you. Mm, Doesn't matter. Well, we don't um, have bathing um, facilities, but we do have like a big trough outside that you could use, perhaps. <laughs> so just for the first time. There's no bath in the town. <laughs> well, you are mm, sparkling clean, by the way. But well, some of the oh houses... yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, forget. What's his name? Jack's cleaned us all up anyway. Fuck. Yeah. No. Okay. No, I mean, I'm going to take off my baths. Uh, there are baths, obviously, like in some of the houses and stuff, where, but that's. There's no public baths, no. I'm going to take off my, my vestments when we get there. And I'll there. head upstairs. Okay. okay. And then I just point to the box Cass is holding. Oh, very good. Um. It's oh. just a puzzle box. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. I uh, trust. Didn't have to, uh, you know, harm anyone in order to no, get this. As per our agreements. Very good. All right. Um, and she'll grab like this big burlap sack and just kind of holds it open. Um, since you're already touching it, would you mind? And she's Absolutely. Gonna... I was going to warn you against holding it. And I'm I aware. I'm aware. In Trust the me. Bag. And as you kind of like put it in the bag, she like <coughs> pulls the ropes taut, closing the closing the sack, and and puts it under her under the bar for now. I'll make sure that it gets to uh, you know who. Mm. As a reward, um, assuming you all had a hand in this, would you like for me to split up the reward and divide it evenly among you all, or yes? Okay. She hands each and every one of you uh, a coin purse with 20 gold pieces and a healing potion. Nice. Oh! Jax will hand both of these to Kess and walk out. Okay. I'm going to follow him. He doesn't right. seem angry when he leaves, by the way. It's 20, right? 20 gold pieces? 20 yes. gold and a healing potion, yeah. Just a minor one, right? Yeah, just a, oh, just a re regular one. Yeah. Thanks for doing business. Uh, what do you do when you leave, Jax? Uh, uh, I want to go find... There's like a fountain in the square, right? Yeah. Okay, Jax is going to go out um, and just sit by the fountain. Watch the sunset. Okay. So yeah, if you go outside, uh, Kess, you'll see Jax kind of vibing by the fountain. I'm going to go sit beside him. Uh, 
Uh, is there something I can help you with? I understand that us being protective over that made you wary, at the very least. I just don't trust it not to come back to bite us. Um... There are obviously things I can't tell you, but uh, she's going to draw the dagger, specifically the one that Brooks made, um, and just prod her finger so that a drop of blood swells um, and squeeze it out on the ground. Okay. She the dagger. I vow here. If you ask me any questions about this now, I will tell you the truth. At least, what I can. Shit, okay. I don't want to know anything. Plausible deniability. <laughs> <laughs> At the very least, I'll say it's not coming back. I just no, want you to know that doing certain things can come back to bite you. So I promise you free to come back. Yeah, you don't know about that, though. <laughs> the, the man who freed a fucking your auntie tried to choke him! <sighs> yeah, we're, we're not there! Let them, let them play! <laughs> we're not there! Yeah. Shut up. The whole purpose of this was to get it out of the hands of people who could use it. But what are they using it for? What were they going to use it for? Yes, do you know what they were doing? No. Do you have proof? Then who's to say that we put it in the wrong hand? Or whose hands are even the right hands? We put it in the hands of someone I trust. With absolute certainty. You know, there was someone I trusted. I was with her for 150 odd years, maybe more. We sailed the oceans and I never had any problems. But one day she took a risk that didn't pan out and we shipwrecked. And that's how I ended up here. So whether your trust is old as time or brand new, it can always be betrayed. Trust is not something I give out lightly. I've been burned too many times for that. Besides, I know of too many beings that can use it to twist what your intentions are. Beings? I know a lot of fake creatures. That's what they're good at. <clears throat> but you never spent time in the Feywild, or...? No. My father did. I learned through him. Or at least, what he left behind. Did he leave you behind? Books? Knowledge? Do you know where he is? No. I had never met him. I'm sorry. I made my peace with it a long time ago. It's hard to miss someone you never met. I suppose. But... It is hard not to miss family. Only if they were of a family to begin with. You have a point there. And 
Jax will just sit there and start the sunset. Kess will sit next to him and put both the gold and the potion right in the middle of them. Sick. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> so you guys just kind of sit there. Like, at what point would you go back into the tavern? Mm, probably like 30 minutes after the sun actually set. Okay. Ish. All right. Um, the rest of you. I want to find a Lazarin. Okay. Okay. I'm probably. I probably went to the room to get changed. And I'm probably just sitting down because I'm looking like even though I'm like I'm. My clothes are healed. You can see I'm looking a bit like. <laughs> yeah, I, I look bit. like shit. Yeah, I look like fucking shit. I'm back in my uniform. My fucking yeah. cloak is on, and I join you at the table. <clears throat> just just kind of still sort of. Yeah. Nursing a couple wounds. Yeah. Oh, Elazarin, listen. Um, yeah, yeah, seven. I don't suppose you could uh, patch me up a little bit. I'm, I mean, I'm, we're out of dodge now. I know. It, I know it can sort of sap you, but I don't. If you've got anything left in the reserves, I could really do with some help. Oh Jesus Christ! Doc's gets shit at me. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck brings a random fucking dog into a tavern? No, sorry, that was <laughs> IRL dog. <laughs> fucking hell. Um, yes, I suppose I've I've got something spare oh, I could just do, um, and I will use cure wounds. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, goo. <laughs> Six. <laughs> well, I am no longer bloodied, so that's something. I still am. <laughs> hey, I think that's you, the first um, fight we've ever had. I didn't take like huge amounts of damage. Are you gonna sort of help? Yourself out, or oh, you just that was the last. Like I mean, lump? that was the last of my reserves. Really? Oh yes, I, I'm quite tapped. I used quite, I used quite a bit to. Um, when Kess was invisible, I did it quite. As you can see, I can see the invisible if I use one of my right. reserves. I did that just to make sure, and also to well, check. If yeah, only I could do this. If I could heal you back, I suppose I would. No. But uh... it's actually fine. I think I, this course. I kind of look around, see if Brooks is about, just to make sure he doesn't overhear me. <laughs> it's I'm probably upstairs getting changed yeah. at this point. And it's because Brooks if... starts a tavern fight. I don't think I'm going to be going anywhere. So... Well, I mean, <laughs> wait, what time is it? Uh, well, it's about the sun is setting. It's about like, it's about like like six, seven p.m. We could always, you know, take an hour or so, have a drink or two. Yeah. Rest up a little bit. I don't know if there's anything going oh, yeah. on tonight, but I'm going to assume we're staying the night, aren't we? So yeah. While they're having like... this conversation, I'm at the bar just ordering food and drinks for the group to a table okay. from Jolly, since Jolly speaks hand talk. Yeah, so Jolly I can will, do that. Uh, Jolly will will say will will sign back to you. Um, this will be my treat as an extra reward for um, you know, helping me out. And I'll make sure that word of your good work reaches his excellence. I just nod and, and sign thanks. And I say, um, in terms of drinks, if any of this is like outside of the your generosity, I'll still pay for it. Say something, something fan. At least one of them needs to be fancy. I don't know what makes it fancy, but something fancy. Mm, typically. For some reason, people like to put olives in drinks to make them look a little more fancy. I don't really see the okay. appeal, personally, but I can... Yeah. Gold leaf and an olive. One of those, and the re and and maybe just a bottle of wine for the table, probably. Mm, uh, any preference of what what type of wine, or...? Uh... I, I just say... I, I, I'm gonna guess... The white? Be because I'm just like the color. <laughs> no, it's I'm trying to remember. Like, but white looks like gold, and Elazarin likes gold, and I think Elazarin's the biggest Fair wine enough. drinker in the group. Fair so enough, that's the logic. Mm -hmm. And like, this yeah, is like this wine. is just literally like this conversation is all just like and fucking, hand talk, yeah. fucking Daigon and Jolly doing like fucking Naruto fucking <laughs> to each other. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> this is my favorite DMD sign language. Yeah. <laughs> um, dinner that means will gold be, leaf. Uh, will be prepared uh, in about 30 minutes. So you just let your friends know. Okay. Yep. Any dietary restrictions I should be aware of? Nope. Very good. Not that I can remember. 
All right, I'll get to it. And she dives into the kitchen. And if anyone at any point until it shows up it goes to try, like, say that they're ordering, like, food or drinks, I'm just going to kind of, like, put a hand on their, like, arm mm. or something and just nod no and tell them not to. Well, <clears throat> crown out of the way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Yes, I suppose so. Um, Doug, when we sort of talked... Them. Oh, sorry to cut you off, Elijah. But uh, Daga, when we when we were going over our plans for the next few days, was that the errand you had in mind before everything else? I, yeah, I nod. Yes. Though, so, possibly, if I still have your uh, assistance, I suppose once you've been back to Eldalon to let them know about the Hydra and all that, I still need well everyone's help. I think in retrieving. Um, the other tiers of Kosuth. So hopefully that can be our next journey, unless anyone else has anything they need to do on the way. I know, Siren, you'd, you'd want some sort of look around Eldalon, of course. I would appreciate um, a tour, maybe some introductions, but I understand if you need to uh, be on your way, I'll... Uh... I mean, I, yeah. introductions don't take too, too long. You know, we can spend a, two days or so in Eldalon. And, yeah, a day or two wouldn't be too bad. You know, it'd be nice to have a little rest. It's been quite the busy week. Would um, appreciate uh, at least a couple of days yeah, to we can, we can get my bearings that. and have some um, friends around I need me. to meet with the general. Anyways, I have some information for her um, from the guards. About here. the fires, right? About the fires, yes. They just they need more assistance. That's all it is. It seems to be... And actual problems can close to both mm. cities, so. Yeah, it's yeah. spreading out. It's mm. And they can't That's really something pin down. Something will probably be given to deal with sooner rather than later, at some point, I assume. Well, if the fires have made it as far as Streatham, I... we'll be able to deal with it while we're there. Yeah. I'll be. I feel semi invested into that. But. Uh, yeah, I think so too. It's. um. It was, well, one of the first things that got us any kind of mm. reputation with General Cron and, and yes. the, the people of the city in general. I feel, feel like we would be bit. letting ourselves down if we didn't follow that up. Indeed. But, uh, you know, I'm, you know, Debbie, I'm happy to help you out in your ventures. Obviously, I suppose if you after, the, any... uh, after the Hydra, I, I think it's safe to assume that none of these tiers will come at any small risk. So. Indeed. Obviously, you need any. I know it's not exactly your thing, but if you need any divine assurance, I'm sure I can help you with that as well. I suppose. I mean, the 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 journey for these tears is all in in the seeking of some sort of greater assurance mm. to some degree. So I wouldn't say no to to that. And it's not like I deny it to any degree. Just never really. Immerse not myself in the realm of the divine. I'm mm. well aware. I kind of like look at the door because I assume Jax is still out at this point, and I'll kind of like look, look at the door where Jax still left. Uh, about 15 minutes uh, after the sun sets, Kess will go back in. Okay. Well, before they come back, if they're, they're having a conversation. The and the money behind, by the way. Yeah. While they're at the table, I'm just going to use one of my claws and just very, very small, but just scratch the letter Y into the table and a question mark, and then tap Davian and point to it when they were talking about collecting the other two tiers. Um, well, the person who this belongs to, and I'll hold up the, um, the first of the gemstones, has sent me to collect two more of them. And I'll show the kind of, the design of the tier. It seems as if they would fit together somehow, and I'm not sure if it's a triangle or if they fit together in a line, but it's part of a set. There are three of these stones, and it's some sort of test, I suppose. Let's see if I can bring all three of them together and be the first to do so. I just do the, the animal questioning head tilts, and that's my <laughs> only reaction. I'm not the only one. I'm not the only one seeking them, and um, 
might have to take the others from other people who are trying to take all three. I think it'd be foolish to assume someone else isn't looking for them. I've I've been told that I'm not the only one. I was just the first to find one. Stellar news. But I think I'm. I mean, I have the utmost faith in us as a group. Of course, alone, I don't know how much of a chance I would stand. But I mean, we're a pretty, pretty kick-ass bunch. I think. Kill the Hydra. In judging, by, judging by the fact that the first one was guarded by a Hydra, I wonder what protects the other two. Well, but given that... that one of them, well, the first lead for the second one is in a town, I'm hoping something not quite so sinister. But I've no, I've no clue. I've no. No idea, I've been simply given the name of the town as where to start, so... <clears throat> it, it, it'll, if, if nothing else, it'll be interesting, and I'm sure in some way profitable. Looking at how much that Hydra blood fetched us, anyway. Yes, there was good, good sounds of money from that Hydra blood, I must say. Can't go wrong with 75 gold, can you? Come sit down at this point. <laughs> I My eyes widen, Sorry? and I, I laugh a little when a Lazarin says that. Yes. Oh, did you cut my deal? What do you mean? Um, no, I just went to the magic shop and sold it. You know, for seventy-five. Yeah. Why? Well, what's and, get? and what? Seventy-five and what? Just some did you get gold. Oh uh, no, I just sold it. Okay. I mean, I technically you could say I traded it to get some identifying stuff, but I can't pay for that myself. So I just do one of these. Mm -hmm. Face palm. We, uh, we went supporting the larger commerce at the, uh, the magic shop. You... Yeah, the big one. We got a hundred from each at the potion seller, but that's, that's what Fantastic. it is. Um... Fantastic news. <laughs> Either way, I'm. This doesn't bother me. Big magic shop like that, they probably uh, invest it wisely. I think that magic shop probably doesn't have the biggest investment. Options. Well, they probably invest it in snuffing out that small potion shop that gave us a hundred, but you know. Well, exactly. They throw away a hundred. <laughs> capitalism. Well, <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> Trickle down economics. It's a, it's a, it's difficult to explain. I will. Say economics. <clears throat> yeah. Not economics. Siren like grabs the like parchment from her pat bag. Starts writing. Trickle down economics? Question mark. What's <laughs> <laughs> back? Got my attention to the Dagon. Um, Dagon, mm. when you took the box from Kess, you uh, had a moment. Did you see something? There's a really long hesitation, and I'll just slowly nod yes. And with the whole and... time, like, not breaking eye contact with Davian, and, like, eyes kind of narrowed a bit at the beginning, and then they opened a bit more at the end. Is it, Kess is back at the table by now, right? Yeah. Kess, uh, when you first took it, did you... Did you have the same experience? I saw something. I'm not sure I saw the same thing, but... My assumption would be that I did. Was it something worrisome? Is or it is worth it just... asking what? Because yeah, is it worrying or is it looks just a thing? Taken aback. What I saw was concerning. A fantastic. But news. I'm not concerned now that it's in the right hands. I we won't be yes. seeing any effect from this object again. And as Jolly kind of approaches to the table and puts the food down, that is correct. There's no need to worry. There's no lasting. Mm. No. You know, don't feel anything still? No. That would only be if they would have touched the crown directly, which I'm hoping nobody here did. I absolutely did not. Are you joking? Very sure of that. Very good. I if point want, to whatever could... the fancy drink she has is, and I point to Brooks. 
on the tray. It's of kind of like it's kind of like a martini kind of kind of yeah. vibe. Okay. Shaken or stirred? Uh, <laughs> shaken. I'll, I'll drink it and I'll give it a little nod to. I see that a boss of wine gets put on the table. I'm like, ooh. If um, <laughs> if you want, obviously. <laughs> I'm not an idiot, right? I, I don't know how much these two have told you. Um, and it not is, everything. It's good, but... Let's just say that... Um, I work for an organization that um, makes it so that dangerous items that could cause a lot of problems in the hands of common folk that don't know the true potential um, get removed from said hands and uh, safely secured somewhere um, I did your friends a favor mm -hmm. I asked for them for their help for a favor in return that was the deal we made for the cart and the horses oh, so it was an amicable transaction good to know the items you the item you procured was uh, a crown that belongs to a dangerous lich in the Astral Sea, or in the Astral Plane, in the city of Tunarath. Um, city of Tunarath? Tunarath. Oh, right. Big city built on the carcass of a uh, slain god. Which is what I saw. Flakith is uh, a lich also queen of, of, of the gith that inhabit that city. Crown belongs to her and will only cause great problems if it remains on this plane. But I'm going to make sure that this crown gets to someone that will remove it from this plane. But they don't send it to the astral. Well, I mean, not exactly. What if this Vlarkith wants her crown back? Yeah. Well, then it is of the utmost importance that I get rid of it as fast as possible. Indeed. You don't want it to be in Vlaka's hands? Preferably not. I believe probably this item of power is something that belongs to them. And from my knowing of holy relics, they tend, if they're on the evil source side, to be the source of a lot of their power. You know, to separate it from the being, so no matter what, they can always have something to help their power. From what I've, from what I've you, read. Um, have you heard the stories sure. of, of this group uh, that fought Orcus many years ago? <laughs> yeah, Orcus right had artifacts. Well, in the kingdoms, anyway. That made him stronger. After my home was. Uh, removed the artifact from Orcus in that case. I believe it was his, his, his wand or his staff. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Makes him significantly weaker. Um, same goes for many other powerful beings. This crown, um, dangerous on its own. Even more dangerous in the hands of the one being that knows exactly how to use it. Without the crown, this being remains where she is, in Tunarath, ruling over her people. With the crown, she could expand her her territory, and that is something we wish to avoid. What is this organization you work for? That does not matter. I, I beg to it's... differ. I disagree. I'm sure we all would, Jax, but I don't think we're going to get another word out of her. And she gets up. Hopefully, this uh, puts your minds at ease at least a little bit. Enjoy your meal. Enjoy your drinks. Thank you for your hospitality, of course. And she kind of moves back onto the bar. <clears throat> I just, before she turns away, I'm just gonna sign, ba sign back many thanks, dragon, and wink at her. She, uh, she just kind of, like, nods at you. Right, well, uh, rest of the evening, are we... Are we do we have plans, or are we just... I believe it's going to be... Early one or? A bit more of a social rest this evening. DM. Hello. How long does it take to get to Eldon from here? Uh, two more days. Okay. Um, 
yeah, during, okay, during this yeah. time, um, and as we kind of like look at that bottle of white wine, is it is it a like cheap sort of a cheaper sort of wine or uh, very yeah. average, very average. average. He will pour himself a pretty small glass of it, mm -hmm. and you know when you have that alcohol, we taste it where you're like. You don't particularly like it, but you're trying to this save face. This one is very so sweet. Like this is almost yeah. like, like a dessert. Pinot someone, Grigio. Yeah, very, very <laughs> Pinot Grigio. Um, you know, like That's when someone goes, "Oh, this is my favorite drink. Try it," and you're like, "Okay," and you like kind of don't like it. It's like, mm. Mm. It's nice. yeah, that's lovely. <laughs> Does that because like there's Daigon towards it? And she's like, mm. <laughs> "Thank you, Daigon." <laughs> so kind of looks at the bottle. Would I maybe try? I mean, it's what's for the table, actually, right, Daigon? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll pour out a. Uh, I'll do a small glass. Just have a taste of it first. I want to pour you a full glass and she'll waste like, the wine. She'll just like look at it and just take a sip and then. It's, it's quite sticky, but. I don't mind it. Would you like a full Knowing... glass? Sure. No. Knowing that Lazarus doesn't like white wine that much because he's told me. Do I notice that, like, he's a bit... I mean, I'm not, like, hiding it. Well, <laughs> sure, I'll do a deception check for you. <laughs> oh, and that one! <laughs> <laughs> That's fine, because my insight's not good. I mean, it's a three total. The 14, wow. but it's only because I rolled yeah, a 13. I mean, it's clear to, it's clear to you that... that, that... Elazarin isn't a big fan. <laughs> I will go up to the bar and I will ask Jolly very politely for a bottle of red wine. Of course. And ask how much she wants for it. Mm. So that's my treat. I'm paying for the meal and the drinks as a little extra reward for helping me you know, retrieve something. I will tip her a gold. And I will take it back to the table and I'll open it up. And I will say, and see, if you're not, if, if, if white wine's a bit sickly for you, Siren, then maybe you should try wet. 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 Yep. Wet wine. at this point is already like, <laughs> it's a rose wine. You should try some wet wine, Siren. Wet wine. <laughs> He's already <laughs> drinking. <laughs> quite heavily. Um, you want some Merlot or Shiraz? wine. We don't talking? fucking care. Nice pinot. It's a red Ebony. wine. In the war. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking here, boys. Come on, it makes a difference. <laughs> um, I'll open up the red wine and I will also pour a glass for a Lazarin and pass it to him. Oh, let's take it. All right. Uh, with that, you have your dinner of uh, some some roast beef, some veggies. Uh, some some potatoes and and your drinks. Is there anything you would wish to do throughout the evening? Anything um, in particular? At some point in the evening, when I go up to, I go get all of my round or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I would like to ask um Jolly. I oh, got gotcha. um, Do you suppose you have a pen and paper at all? Or uh, I don't. Of course. And, uh, he'll, uh, uh, she'll like, whip out. Uh, a stack of parchment and a quill and an inkwell. I know it's not going to tell us anything, but this organization you work for, does their sort of symbol look anything like this? And I will draw the symbol of which I know. Which one? That was on the letter. Oh, the uh, one that you got? Yes, the letter that I got. Should and I will show it? it to her. And I'll be like, does this... Um, no, it does not. Okay, good to know. Thank you. Um... Just had to make sure. Mm. Sorry, I didn't mean to waste your time like that. It's all right. But uh, uh, please tell your yeah. friends this too, that this is the last time we speak no, of sorry. I... any sort of organization I work for from here on out. This you work for the tavern, don't you? Nobody knows. I give a little bit of that. So like, give you a nod. I'm sorry, <laughs> yeah, and I'll kind of take whatever drinks that the pile, that I'll, tip, I'll tip her gold. Um, okay. Made two gold out of us tonight. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, she covered the food and paid us, so... Yeah, I mean, like, if anything, I'm, probably... I'm assuming that it wasn't her out of her own pocket, but... Oh, what, the paid us, you mean? Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> to say. 
It's tax, it's yeah, that, tax, tax deductible one, and all that, so yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> She's claiming us as an expense. Business expense, yeah. On the yeah, tax on form, we go, down as, we go down as exterminators on the tax form. <laughs> no, it's it's like just weirdly just other services. Asset recovery. <laughs> yes, yeah, as, yes, asset recovery. Someone didn't Auditors. pay at their tavern, so we stole their incredibly powerful magic items. Auditors. Auditing. <laughs> Auditing fee. <laughs> um, yes. Yes? Last we uh, sort of had a little, you know, gather around the table. You mentioned that your father wrote books about the Feywild, right? Yes. Yes, he did. As someone who's always had some sort of curiosity about a wild as magic as that one, I don't suppose you could recommend any of them. I think you'd be hard-pressed to find any. How so? The books he left behind were never published. He only ever left drafts. Do you have any of said drafts? No, I love them at home. Mm. That's a shame. Does he have any muses? Any peers? Not that I know of. He was quite alone in his world of research. We as a people are quite alone. I'm going to stand up from the table quickly and go out of the door of the tavern and I'm going to... Pick up Odu okay. <laughs> and bring him inside. Is there a fireplace in the main yeah, room? Yeah, there's like a little fire going. As long as there's no one like to be disturbed. No, I'll pretty quiet. Kinda... You're, you're the only group uh, in the tavern at this point. It's pretty, it's pretty quiet. Quiet night. Just kind of like a big swan. <laughs> Just carry him, <laughs> carry him over, and put him down in front of the fire. <clears throat> Did you, um... Oh, actually, I will use Speak With Animals. Okay. And I will sit. I will sit. I guess there's chairs by the fire. Mm -hmm. Sit down with Onu. Uh, what did you get up to while we were uh, <gasps> down under the tree? Have you talked to him before? Have nope. Fun, DM. Okay, cool. The first I like, time ever. I was like, fuck, did I have I given him a voice yet? And mm -hmm. so I forgot. Okay, cool. You no, because not. the first time that I summoned him, I didn't realize that <laughs> at third level, I get a speak with animals that I could use one spell on rest. So I there didn't want go. to use a spell slot. But yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Onu looks at you. Float around. Ate some fish. We uh, <laughs> we fought a chest. It was it was strange. Kess tried to pick it up and it sprouted arms and legs and Why almost ate me. And well, there's oh. not much room for you to fly around down there. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. He said. I don't know. You don't walk particularly fast, and I feel like a lot of your prowess is mostly when you're able to be airborne. So. It's all right. I was just wondering why uh, you left me to my own devices. Oh, I mean, if, if it, if it works sense. for you, and in situations like that, if it works for you, then it works for me. It's you all seem good. To, just uh, you take care of yourself. Next time, you know, just, just give me a bit more information to go on. Now, from from an outside perspective, mm -hmm. you are going mental. You're like, you are, you are like I am <laughs> clacking and yeah. squawking. Clack. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No one who is just reciprocating. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's the little crack things to do, right? It's just a little, like... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they do have, like... They do vocalize, but it's very... Kind of creepy, I guess. It's, they sound like, uh... Like, like alien. They sound like, like alien. They sound like alien. That, like, clacking. Uh... Is it yours, Frank? No, it's like a fucking two-stroke engine. It's like... Really? <laughs> yeah, they just, like, clap their beak, like... And it's yeah. fucking loud as shit. Uh, they, I mean, there's this really cute. They they reciprocate. If you clap at them, they will clatter their bill. Mm -hmm. Like it, they're amazing. I, I was <laughs> I kept sending Dutch video videos, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of which is good because it's really hard to find clear. Yeah. Sounds because right now I only have one bound to my to my stream deck that is like okay I, I, this one is I usable. I found one good one. Yeah, you otherwise. found one other good one that I haven't I haven't yeah. put on on the thing yet. But uh, yeah, so but I, yeah, find, so, uh, I want to accumulate like several like good quality. Uh, shoe bill stork sounds yeah. that I can kind of, you know, it's a bit varied. So, so we're just 
sitting in front of the fire, sort of <laughs> chatting away for like ten, well, ten minutes till the spell runs out, I suppose. Sometimes um, I think you lot are a bit fucking been, weird. I've been wondering. Mm. I think the same of you. This um, this is the first time I've been someone like this. Yeah. What are your plans with me? Just. Well, I mean, you're my companion, right? I, you'll probably yeah, no, be. Don't get me wrong. I, I like the, I like the companionship, and your friends are, all right too. I just, just wondering if there's like, you know, a goal in mind, or, you know, am I, or oh, you've reached your goal? Am I going to just get replaced or anything? You know. There may be times that. I'll have to do some reading. But there may be times that you take a break for a little while, but other than that, I can't imagine you just go away. I don't do you age? I, I don't know. Well um you know, obviously this is uh just a form I've of of taken uh due to your you know your 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 summoning. I basically got given a physical form that fits that fit the description you you had in mind. When someone yeah. me, um, but as long as you know, you let me know. I'm going to be up. Well, to yeah, being, of course. Put an hold for a little while. I mean, it, given sort of the the nature of your your taking form, I'm, I might just end up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Resummoning you in a different form, I suppose. Possibly. It really depends on what we do. Okay. I know that I can summon a, 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 an animal of the ground, a mammal, I suppose, as opposed to a bird. Uh, so, you know, you'll probably like, still be Like I said, it's you. the first time I've, I've been summoned like this, so I, I, I'm not quite sure how it all works, but... Well, it's it's my first, first time summoning something like this, so... We're in it together, then? Yeah. But I don't plan on just doing away with you anytime soon, that's for sure. That's good, because I, I quite like being able to do all these things, you know, fly around, eat, eat whenever I want to eat. Yeah. You know, hurt the occasional bad guy. Oh, there'll be plenty more of that. And I know that if you do get hurt, I can easily revitalize you, at least. So, you know, as long as... Well, that's not an issue, although, you, you, like I said, you handle yourself quite well. You seem pretty hard to uh, deal with, so there'll be plenty more bad guys to hit, and hopefully you'll stay in one piece. But uh, just rest assured that if you don't, I can, I'm, I'm confident that I can definitely put you back in, well, back together, I suppose. But plans, we'll be traveling a lot, and um, I suppose you'll be waddling by my side some of the way and flying overhead the rest of the way. Sounds good to me, Davian. And he kind of like rustles his feathers and kind of like gives you a little little headbutt, like a little. Mm. <laughs> <clears throat> Cute. I give him a little like crying, little little beak rubbies. <laughs> All right, this doesn't last long. I was being able to talk to each other or anything, but um, oh, I'll I'll understand you always. So if you you know don't want to. Mm. Use any, any magic to communicate with me. If you just give me, you know, yes or no questions, I could. Well, I, I, I'll I'll be checking in from time to time anyway. I, I can do this, you know, say, once a day. Um, in a pinch, just you know, basic yes or no questions. I can I can just nod. Right? Yeah, you can. You could. Yeah, right. <clears throat> it's perfect. You know, All right. Maybe, well, maybe you know, clack beak once for yes, clack beak twice for no, or something. <laughs> right. Well, yeah, you know, you can you can nod, you can shake your head, everything like that. That's all fine. All right. Just wanted to make sure you know everything's okay. This is the first time I got a chance to do this, so yeah, make that's sure cool. you know nice. how you're doing so far. We're all in one piece. We killed a thing. I'm sorry you couldn't be there to help, but that's all right. I was just a bit confused at all, but I, mm. I'll get it. He does have an intelligence of eight, so he's pretty, uh... Very animal creatures. 
Yeah, pretty smart they're, for they're a bird. pretty wise though, right? Like just yeah. the, the yeah, fourteen like, wisdom. There we go. Whilst that, whilst that is kind of happening, he's kind of conscious. Oh, definitely got the same. But like, do you guys find it weird that sometimes Devin just makes animal noises? <laughs> like um, animals. Pretty much just said that, and Cass called me fucking weird. So. I no, but like. like I want to like, like open my mouth makes the noise. and then minor <laughs> illusion repeats some of the clacking that I just cut. <laughs> so it sounds like it just no. comes out my throat. Yeah. Okay, you Oh no, you just hears fucking Kess oh, no, speaking oh, no, in just like... voice. <laughs> yeah, like just in the in the middle of the co in the middle of the conversation, we just hear like stuff that we've just been saying like yeah. echoed in the Let background. Just... <laughs> it's just like it's like where it's like. Right. Once for yes, twice I, for no. I'm going to, I'm going to <laughs> assume it's some sort of magic, but it's, uh, I know, just it's a bit weird. Oh, I did speak to the horses at one point. Yeah, you, you well. spoke. Yeah. You've, you've done it to like a couple of things. You've like fucking spoken around. Snake pit as well. Yeah. Yes, I spoke to the snakes and the snakes. <laughs> yeah. the snake, but you spoke to a random. Didn't you speak to like a random fucking bird to say? I like, did, but no one was there. Yeah, no, yeah, no one was there. Yeah, no, was, yeah, but like well, Davian has spoken to like yeah. random animals. Animals. The snakes it's just and like, the snake and the horses. Yes, that was yeah, in front of yeah. everyone. Yeah, it's just that like, <laughs> like I never, never asked about it. I probably, <laughs> probably should. Probably should. Why, you know, why do you need to ask if you can understand that it's magic? Well, well maybe it's not even magic. magic. Maybe he just maybe learned just the language. Of and magic? even then, and even then, that's even way, if it's not magic, that's way more interesting. That's cool <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> how does he learn? How do you learn so many different languages for the animals? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, that's what I'm saying. I just want to know if he. I know of creatures who can speak common, but oh, yes. so, not I mean, so yeah, many like me. people who who learn exactly. Yeah, but not many people learn horse. You know what I mean? It, so that's why I, I imagine it's magic. D Quite an easy assumption. It, it's still a bit weird. <laughs> I, give, I don't oh, understand can... why, but okay. Okay. Like, like, Feather ruffles chill. and head pats, and then um, head back towards the table. I mean, so well, can you talk to animals? You... Yes. I have a How spell. do you do it? It's a spell oh. I cast, and I'll be able to communicate with See? animals well, for a short go. bit. Problem I solved. I not fuck around with so much magic. Have you seen yeah, the world? It makes, sure it, it, makes life a lot, it makes a life a lot easier. But <laughs> have you not realized don't that? Talk to anim I've never in my life needed to speak to an animal. You never once pets the dog and thought you wanted to know what they wanted. They um, dogs see a can lot, learn commands. That's why lot. they're great animals. Say for You've instance, never had to talk to an animal. Say for instance, you, you you go to infiltrate uh, a, a camp, or you're hunting this 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 great beast. Asking the native animals for information very useful. Yes, I oh, I spoke to the bear as well. I spoke to. I spoke to. Yeah, yeah. What was it? Pimple. Piddle or fucking. Pimple. 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 Yeah, true, true, true. And a little chat with Pimple and, and the horses. Yeah, speaking to animals is great. What are you. Animals. You're not here. You're not... Yes, I am here. I just <laughs> told you that I sat down as He's as Brooks was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. What was that look, Koiba? Right. I thought we spoke 10 minutes or so at the same time. Well, sure. yeah, well, okay. Me but and things that were being referenced were from later into the conversation, so it was like, you know, the conversation was coming to a close, I thought you were... Referencing Yeah, me, me and Kess have spent ten minutes arguing over whether or not Brooks is weird. Mm -hmm. You're right. That's fair. <laughs> I retract every statement I've ever made. <laughs> but Brooks, as like as I said, I was sitting down, Brooks was like, I've, yeah. I've never had to speak to an animal, or whatever, so... <laughs> <laughs> Speaking to animals is very useful because people tell animals things that they think they will never be able to repeat. Mm -hmm. Siren just true. like nods. Like, yep. It's true. Well, I've taught animals, but always with the understanding they could tell someone else. It that feels okay. very paranoid. That makes now, you more wise than most. It Thank makes you, you weirder than most. But... I was. I, I, I was. You told me I was the weird one. Well, you I, are the weird one. We're all fucking weird. What? Why am I the weird one? I think well, I'm pretty normal. Why do you have, like, <laughs> black lines on you? <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Hey, oh, <laughs> Lazarin. Yes. Uh -huh. You, like, blessed a man's shipment of bollocks. That's true. <laughs> that's, pretty, you, that's, you pretty, that's pretty standard affair. 
That's well, and you follow of, a god that doesn't I even talk like to you. To say it's pretty standard fair in these parts. What's wrong with all of you, or none of you fair would have ever entered <laughs> Sekta to begin with? That's very fair. That's for, for fair enough. Fun. I just don't really have anywhere else to go. What's, I'm with Jax on that one. Anything other than clerical work is fun. After Eldalon. <laughs> I mean, are we staying Dab together? I mean, Davian's thing. Oh, is he already mentioned it? Yeah, oh yeah, I did, yeah. No, you were well, you were outside I'd the jack. I'd assume um, that given the context of this group, that Elasrin will go with Daigon anyway, since they seem Davian. to be Davian. somewhat friends. <laughs> Davian, Davian. I'll, I'll be Daigon. going with, with Davian even. Whatever, shut up. <laughs> it's in the other way around. Like what? Whatever. <laughs> I'll be going with this Davian. Is not quite because a lot to drink at this point. I have a, a mutual understanding of what he's going through. Sure. Dagon will go with me. Brooks. Jax has got nothing better to do. And Brooks. I don't know. We'll for the coin, drinks and money. I don't know. This is We've made a lot of money already. Alcoholic. Listen, I'm not saying that the alcohol is the attractive part of the drinks, but just the uh, enjoyment of a social occasion with your dear fellows when we've celebrated the job well done. If I don't or come on, the rest of you are going to manage to get yourself. stealing things from people and, you know. We're not going to go to jail. And if we do, we can easily get out. It's not Realistically, like it's if I don't pain. come along, you're all going to get yourselves fucking killed anyway, so. That's wow. ridiculous, but for a second there, it almost sounded like you cared about us. Wow. <laughs> now, I don't want to be presumptuous. I think you're mistaken. Brooks doesn't I don't have want, feelings. And I don't want to, you know, do anything too soon. But should we start thinking of a name? A oh, name? No, no we for absolutely should. A name not. for what? The group. No. You know what we are together. Oh, no, and the heartbreakers. This is not the hardest <laughs> thing. The heartbreaker. Onu and the heartbreakers. Well, Onu and like the some sort of Onu fucking. Up. I'm, I'm down to the. There's power in a name. There's a lot of power in a name. Which is why we don't need one. I was gonna say, is that a good thing or a bad thing? It depends bad. who's using the name. <clears throat> is that well, right? I, I I think most of you are pretty. I mean, the mythical right. mercenary, right. mercenaries apparently is our it's side gig threat. going on. <laughs> mythical mercenary. Do we are we really at that stage where we're? Thinking about names like. like... That's what I said. I you don't sound like you have commitment it. issues. I follow a god. I kind I'm not sure I'm going to take don't have, I kind of have the opposite to that doesn't know what tattoos are. Is that what they are? I thought you well, might not have just been born with them like me. She's never, no. been this, she's never known about school plays either, but I can let her off on that one. <laughs> That's why I was a child. School play. School play. See? Oh I'm not you the only like, one. Like a, like a theater thing, but in school. Why? Yeah. You would do it, you know, I once a year. I was homeschooled, so. Takes out her piece of A bunch of fucking homeschool kids. Puts down, what's that? <laughs> Fuck a school, school play and rolls up the parchment. What is, I'm sorry, am I, am I the only one who has any sort of like education that wasn't with their no, parents? No, I've probably had one. more education than you. Well, thank Listen, God. my parents that. are all very educated. No, but like, you know, other people that but aren't But the school family. play was for all the weirdos that Oh, no, did it quite fit Brian. in? Up I was a ranger then. from when I was like 15. To make a name. So no, I, was I wasn't a... doing any plays. I was, I was a in a theatre kid. Top no. physical shape when I was younger. No, we we had to Why do it. We didn't have a choice. Do that we just had school. to do. And we just it was like a fundraising thing later on. They would you know Mom charge money to to Mommy come. Mommy and Daddy paid a lot of money for what they to learn things, and for? instead he pretended I to be so cool. on a stage. Pay to watch a bunch of kids be idiots. Um, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I have, I have, I have, I have a question. They're parents. They want to watch their kids do it. Well, I, go I can't What's your question? figure out from this conversation whether having been in a school play is good or bad. Could you elaborate? It's a good. It's a good it's thing. It's a bad thing. It's no, a bad thing. It's not a bad I, thing. I, I trust Jack's wisdom on this more than in the to be honest. I do have about 300 <laughs> years okay. of experience. Let me change this. It's not a great thing. It's just not a bad thing. It's like very middle. It's just something that happens. It's a and lower end it. bad. It, you know, it's, it's mid. I would agree with that. It was awful and one of the most embarrassing things most kids will ever do. But it's a good laugh. It's a good laugh for anyone not in it. Exactly. And I was in most of them. 
No, <laughs> no, no. You get pelted you know with a, fucking you know vegetables at the end. No, because the parents were there, not random weirdos who were throwing per vegetables per at kids. Per parents can be violent. Parents can be disappointed easily. No, no, True. No. Trust me, I was a great disappointment through my childhood. Not surprised. I mean, <laughs> I love wow. to like burst out laughing when Siren says that. Like <laughs> proper, like Siren proper will, like, table slightly wink at you, Brooks. You know, I I thought we, you no, know, never dancing again. Oh, I want to say dance. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're not friends anymore. I'm gonna go have it's a okay. I'll dance with the Lazarin instead. <laughs> You're the option. <laughs> Is there any music in here right now? No. I can make the beating of drums. I guess, same. Do you have a drum? No, I have magic. You know, I don't think there's much we can do with no. just the beat of drums. Oh, you have to wait a few you centuries you can before do a that march. really comes into style. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do a march. march style You've never danced to drums? No. I've, danced to some I've, heard, drums. I've heard of drum heard. circles, but not a in one. Them what, what, what's a drum circle? You get a, a circle, circle of of people, drums. circle of people playing drums, and it's like a it's a religious festival for a lot of people. They um use it to promote like end of harvest or a another celebration. It's not one that Joaquin follows. I correlate or none of the, the main beating ones. of drums with sacrificial rituals mostly. Depends on the that intonation of the drums. As in animal sacrifice, or as in like the ritual sacrifice of like. It depends on people. what tribe you're from. For, for I, you personally. Depends on the event. I, I signed a cast depends that... Depends on what part of my life you would refer to. That's yeah. fair. I, That's I signed fair. a cast that the things. tribe I'm from use drum circles for, um, like, often at weddings or banquets. Like, they were, like, a celebratory thing. I will repeat that. It's quite fascinating to see how. Can we all, we should all get a drum, and try it sometime. I don't need a drum. Who are we gonna marry? Okay, <laughs> everyone who does need a fucking drum should get. It. No, Ke no, Kes, come on. You, of course, you need a drum. Why? Because it's different. Surely, part of the experience is <clears throat> beating off the, the motion. Never... You know, your you getting your whole body is involved when you're banging you're a just drum. Drum on your lap, making you know, the sound. Just, no, like, everyone. There would be a few people who would make the sound with magic, and then everyone would dance. No one ever I actually played the drum. No I one. Hold on. Okay, hold on. No one ever actually drum. played the drum. Why the way fuck would it be fun. called a drum circle? I'd never said anything about a drum the sound of drums. I did. But I'm saying we should have a drum circle. Why? Because it's because fun. Because it might be I fun. It's, 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 I've never done it before. It sounds like something that would be interesting. Something that maybe Sirin <laughs> could teach us about. Instead but the of, circle you know. is so confining. Why oh, we'll do a, oh, we'll do a, a drum heptagon then, or some fucking shit. No, any shape is confining. Why would you confine yourself to a shape? So what you're saying is we should just amble around and bang drums. Davian, guess seems to be one of those children that is uh, rebelling against everything because she's not comfortable with who she is. and Drum circles are social contract. I'm very comfortable with who I am. I'm just confused as to why you would want to confine yourself to a particular space. Because, because, the, the, because the ritual is the, the drum circle. This is that I also the no has commitment issues. No trim all over again, dude. Yep. <laughs> I, I also signed back to Kess while the circle was twofold in our village. One, it meant the people dancing in the middle, you know everyone had a line of sight so everyone could see the performance. Two, there's a power in circles and in terms of like consecrating an area, protecting an area, the energy in the space, historically speaking, and just sign a bunch of Wicca pagan stuff about why you consecrate and why you do all rituals in circles. That would take me a long time to say. That makes more sense to me. Right. So, oh, drum does. circle then. No, when we get to Eldalon or something. Maybe I mean, when later. we get to Eldalon, we can just go to a dance hall. Mm, Ooh, true. that's. I would like that. that. Wait, what? That sounds fun. You did give me the whole you promised me a dance thing. Yeah, I've never been to a dance hall though. Well, it's just like a tavern, but with music and generally more expensive shitty beer. Why? Why? <laughs> and it's not so round. Oh, we got drunk beforehand, is what you're saying. We pre. I mean, pre game. <laughs> we don't pre game if you want to be able to dance, but. Oh, I think I 
dance with better when I'm drunk, to be honest. <laughs> Far too self conscious for the we'll find out. <laughs> Loosens me up a little bit. Or does it now? Anyway, I will give him a. I am going to retire to our room. Um, would it be possible uh, before we get to Eldilon, someone run me through some basic, you know, do's and don'ts? I don't want. To, I don't want. I mean, to, you, know. you seem to be handling yourself quite well. I know a lot of court etiquette, but I'm, I'm not trying, entirely sure that it applies to this I, place. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't extremely nervous and very scared of making mistakes. Um, well, I would be very away. careful about mentioning to people that you're a yawn tea. I, I think mean, they might notice she'll that. like look Jack's dead in the eyes, and Jack, you will just see like the the snake eyes, and yeah, like, I know. just like reveals like you know like and they're just funky out, contacts. Her tongue, which you... is forked. Right. The number one thing to remember is you are going to make mistakes, no matter what. It's about how you recover from your mistakes, not about the mistakes themselves. So, I agree. Do not, do not, but... do not be scared to make a mistake. You will. They'll make mistakes back at you. You will. You'll be fine. Trust me. I think you it's never more bind than... yourself to an if agreement the... you can't. I just would You've like got more than enough to confidence. Know, the most. Um... Avoiding mistakes is, is my preference, so just, you know, maybe on the way, tomorrow in the cart, or on the way, it's, just run me through some of the basics. It's really simple. Don't get caught stealing. Don't get caught don't you mean murdering don't, someone. Don't you mean don't steal, don't murder? Don't get, don't get caught stealing. Don't get I get caught the murdering sense someone. that you're the wrong person to ask about this. No, okay, there might be situations He's where, very good you for know, the street smarts. Okay. There are there certain situations, situations where it might be. What is, what is we just smart we just went out and stole a thing, um, even though we, we were doing it for a, a good reason, but still illegal. Well, we're in the middle of a tavern. Hasten to remind you when when we are well, when you're in like a dip diplomatic meeting course. that is more you know diplomacy. When you're out and about in the street, you need to know what's Should I going different on around tiers you. of smart. Don't let any kids near your coin purse. Yeah. <laughs> I like that's just like do not let any kids near your coin purses. Do you have any coins? Hmm? Do you have any yeah. money? Um. Oh, she has well, twenty got, gold. I think we're all given, just given. Um, that that coin purse by um the barkeep. But other than that, yeah, no. Before not that really. though, did you have any money? No. Do you know anything about the value of money? Yes. Uh, the, you know, I still don't with, understand the value of money. Daramuth has you know right. it's. Yeah. Well, I'm, when I grew up, what I'm used to was, you know, uh, trading supplies for one another with other tribes and other villages. But it seems that you people have devised a system where there is just a currency used and you can use that currency to purchase whatever it is you, you'd like if you have enough. And that is uh, something we got taught uh, in the beginning when starting collaborating with New Daramuth, and I just assumed it would work the same wherever I would go. You're further ahead I would say than I was. A few ground rules, which you already seem to be doing a good job, but always wear clothes. Because... Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a rule. <laughs> In a diplomatic meeting, yes. <laughs> Don't fucking shit on the floor. Right. Be polite. Or a table. Right, but be polite is very broad and probably doesn't mean anything. Just do what well, we it means do. a lot more do than just. I do. Don't do what Brooks does. Always say, be polite say, until you know you can't. You don't have to be. That's what I did with the last you. one when we first met. You are not polite at all. When I was we just going to say you're just not a no. <laughs> exactly. I didn't need to be polite. You you presented me your hand. There was already an indication I didn't need to be polite to you. Carrying weapons in public is oh, kind of okay, but drawing them is kind of a no-no. Mm -hmm. So if you have any customs that involve gesturing with a weapon, just try and avoid them. That oh, makes a lot about of to sense kill now. Someone. And um, if you do kill someone, don't get caught. Right, that's what's... Right. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
don't really intend on killing anyone, though. So. Sure, Lazarin can give you a comprehensive list of the laws of don't, Outlaw. Don't, don't worry. I mean, just don't get caught breaking any of them. The basics of the law are probably roughly the same. There's no <laughs> living... Well, Lazarin, you probably know better than me, but as far as I know, there's no ritual sacrifice that happens to most of the gods that would be worshipped in Eldalon. So don't um, expect too much of that. Other, some old rituals, but yes, they've been very much, you know, petered out and seen as um, old, okay. just old hat at this point, you know. Mm. Okay. Not, not done anymore. So now, I'll, when we're on the journey too, I'll give you a, you know, I'll, mm. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a good update on it. And as we get into it, I, I'll, I can be your guide and give you some pointers as we go. I think that'd be easier than giving you a big old list just as we sort of give you the basics yeah. and as we go I'll let you know, inform you if there's any uh, customs that need to be I would appreciate changed. that There's no problem For the most part, uh, Nerve I'll, I'll, I'll tap her on the shoulder and be like, you'll be fine sure. Nerve Ragnar might put, be you Put her hand on yours and just kind of looks at you and seems very appreciative Alright, um, with that uh, getting quite tired so I'll uh, I'll be up in the room Good evening. Have a good night. <clears throat> good night. And she moses on upstairs. Okay, so you say how you do know you get tattoos? Etiquette? How, oh. How do you get tattoos? Yeah. You've never... Am I the only one in the group that has tattoos? I think so. Yeah. I don't. Because we've all no. seen each other naked, haven't we? Oh! Apart from Jack, we haven't seen Jack's naked. Jack is a tramp stamp, just like a bug. <laughs> He's got a bug. Yes. No butterfly. Yes. <laughs> Daddy tattooed under his left cheek. <laughs> Daddy's little girl. Daddy's little blue man. <laughs> you really want the complex explanation of how tattoos work, or do you just want a very simple? Someone just sort of hammers ink into your skin. I'm Basically, sure we could find so, someone so you to have, do it for you in Eldalon. So you have a needle, and the needle's on the end of a stick. This already sounds and, horrible. And the needle gets dipped in ink, and they put it against your skin, and then they tap the stick, and the vibration. Why you would you do to. this? Because it looks. Some people cool. use it to express themselves. It looks. It really is. It Are looks they okay? fucking cool. <laughs> yes, I mean, I have three. It's not that painful. You have like, three? It's not. It's not awful. I. It's, do it feels a bit like being pinched. Are they personal? They're all on his dick. Sort of. <laughs> and they are all his own name. <laughs> Small I assume you won't show us then. He's got a fucking uh, cannon, just tattooed <laughs> on the side of his shaft. <laughs> a musket on one side and a saber on the other. Do you want to see my latest invention? <laughs> it's a cannon that can extend <laughs> twice its own size. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I got a tattoo that says clean up on aisle six with an arrow pointing down at my dick. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> children. My actual children. I hate us. I hate us. This is like my least favorite part about us is this. <laughs> Poopy pee funny. Why is Poopy funny? funny? <clears throat> oh, um. Uh, there's a lot of different reasons why people get tattoos. It's aesthetic for some. It for some they have significant meaning. It may be of remembering people or events. Um, some people use it as like a a way of slyly letting people know that you're you know in the same entirely legal friendship group. That's mm, not. What was it for you? That should be our name. Entirely, Entirely legal, legal friendship, friendship group. group. <laughs> <laughs> um, that a little bit long. And we should get that tattooed on us, all of us. We're I don't think I want to. <laughs> it's not that painful. It's like, oh. it's an enjoyable level of painful. It's an enjoyable it's level bad. of pain. It depends on where you get the tattoo, though. Yeah, I can imagine on your dick would be. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I do so I, I signed a kiss uh, in my village. <clears throat> tattoos were reserved for people who had done great deeds or something 
worth remembering in a very permanent way, and it was a way to display your achievement to everyone all the time. Then you should be covered. I, d I just, like, laugh. Mm -hmm. Why was that funny? <laughs> I, I, I just don't answer. Okay. I will... well, you, you, you two have traveled together for a little while now. Ke oh, Jester and Kess and Megan. Not to intend any offense or anything, Dagon, but Kess, have you ever heard Dagon speak? No. I mean, you must have at first, surely, no? No. I already knew how to communicate with her. Just by chance? Yes. It was a way of communication that my people learned. And passed on through the generations. No longer really had any use. It was mostly just. And personal. I suppose, Dagon, you came to learn it because of the whole sword swallowing incident. So you put it. <laughs> uh, I'll sign to Kess. I'll sign to Kess that my mentor taught me, and he learned it in a school where they had to take a, a vow of silence for a year, and this was their way around it. I will repeat that. That's That seems like cheating. A vow of silence? <laughs> well, I mean, if the silence is upheld, then it's never said that you can't be silent in all forms of communication. Actions speak louder than words or something. Strange. What, in terms of breaking this, the vow? No, I, I, that was just a really dumb joke. Oh, okay. Because you would communicate through actions, and people always say that actions speak louder than words, which would make it loud. It <laughs> didn't really land as I intended it to. It was I can see that being true, though. It was a perfect try, Devin. <laughs> Thanks, Eliza. Thank you. Kes, what I tried to ask earlier, what the fuck do you know of court etiquette? Why do I know court etiquette? Yes. It was kind of just something you grew up understanding. It was never really specifically taught, it's just one of the things you kind of seem to inherently know. What are you are we did did you grow up around a royal court? No, not at all. No, we're near. Well, then, surely is that just etiquette and not court etiquette? No. We yeah. learnt both, but. It would be While interesting to see what it would be interesting to see. It was always you know for understood that only one of them would be useful in a particular circumstance. <laughs> and while. The, while the conversations about this part, like Kess's thing, I'm just gonna sign mm -hmm. to Kess. I'm pretty tired. I'm gonna call it early and I'm just gonna go up to bed. And also, IRL, I got a dip, so have a fun last half hour, y'all. Hey, good night, I can go Laura. To bed. And good night, Dagon. Bye. Yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here real soon anyway. So, yeah. Go on for three hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, fuck my work schedule. No, no. We've, got, we've got time, right? It's fine. Uh, nah, we're gonna, we're gonna, I was gonna wrap it up early anyway because I wanted to, you know, just, uh, I thought Laura was gonna have to go 15 yeah. minutes prior instead of 30, so that's why no, I, I, I originally yeah, did, but then I got a message during the right, break. Right, 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 yeah. that's my bad. Um, but we can just say that uh, you kind of finish up your night here, of yeah. hang around, have some drinks, and um, go to bed, and we'll pick this up next week. Okay, sounds good. Uh, pick this up next week. Uh, and you know, continue your, your travel back to Eldilon. So with that, thanks so much for uh, for playing. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching today, guys. We'll be back here uh, next Sunday for session ten. Oh, yeah. um, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for the follows, <laughs> Geek Dice, and uh, Bow Bow Bakery and Cafe. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate that. Incredible name. Um, I that. Hope y'all. Ooh, now rap. We'll be here tomorrow <laughs> with uh, with Baldur's Gate. The final, final one. Bomb. For real this time. For real this time. Uh, and Dungeon Discourse. Dungeon Discourse. I would like... Thursday. I would like... Koiba and... Soko. Did we do oh, that? Oh, fuck. I was really hoping you wouldn't say it. Why? <laughs> Just because I don't... <laughs>
<laughs> you don't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. If there's a works for you guys, that would be You can great. talk about your wife. Yeah, I can make it work. You can talk about awesome. fucking Dude, giving the thieves to us. That bitch. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so that will be on Thursday, guys. Uh, we'll be live again tomorrow. So as, as you all know, we stream three, three days a week. Yeah, we stream... Fine. Uh, Baldur's Gate slash soon Divinity Original Sin 2 on Mondays. We stream Dungeon Discourse, our weekly D&D talk show about the campaign on Thursdays, and then on Sundays, the actual campaign proper. All the stuff will also be uploaded to YouTube, as always, and you can also listen to Dungeon Select on podcast form. There's four episodes up on the various podcast platforms that we're I'll on. probably be five by the end of tonight, I think. Probably be five by the end of tonight. You heard it here first. All um, um, videos from last week will be up on YouTube by tomorrow. Awesome. They're just processing, so... Thanks so much for hanging. Catch you guys next time. I hope you guys had a great weekend. And um, have a good have a good heckin' week, y'all. Mm. Let's kick some ass this week. Take yeah. care, guys. Have a good night. Bye. Have a good week, everybody. Bye! Bye-bye. Elf group!